welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Thai Nation British Internationals, hosted by England Arts Organisation. The first games on today are the girls' matches between Wales and England. So we're going to the first match. Can you welcome, representing Wales, Thomas Alomi. And represented England, Hannah Meek. Redemption by winning here. 
fortifies. On the line three, would love a treble here just to leave 93. 41. We'll still lose her a finish with 52 when she comes back. How long we need to travel here? 60! Hannah Unicorn 152! Now, two travel 20s to 16 for Hannah, but that's gone now. Need to set it up well here. 41! when Hannah comes back. 33! Hannah Unicorn 101! Once again, she's got six starts here. Travel 17. That's three, so 88 left. She could go triple 16 here, she is. 39! Ellen, we need to try 161. Oh, my apologies, Ellen Wee Thomas was on a finish. 161, after that, this is it. 60! How do you buy 72? No, triple six. No, she went to the 20s. 57 left, so 17. Oh, she's at the three, so 14 to leave tops now. 32! Wings require 101! Yeah, okay. 20 to start from Ellen Lee Thomas. Checkout's gone, so Hannah. 41! England you require 40! To take the first leg, double top for Hannah Meek. And now a real chance for a steal now for Ellen McCannis to break the throw to the top. 40! England you require 10! First start was in the way there. Five there. One for the two. Six! England you require 20! She must be put completely there. Ellen McCannis now. Double 10. That's a great marker. Six. Okay. And now double two. Double one. Double one. No score. Okay. We need to find a fourteen. Then we like to start. Double seven. No score. We need to find a four. Double one once again for Hamlet. No score. Rules you require 14. 3 for double 2 now. Double 2 for Ellen. Yes, that's game shot. And the first leg to Wheels. Yeah, and Ellen Thomas. But Second leg is Wheels to throw first. Game on. A nice break of throw for Ellen Thomas to take the advantage in this first game of day 2. 19. Only 19 to start though. Hannah Mick needs to break back here and make it one all. 45! She only replies with 45. 42! Both these girls will be uh, still feeling a bit of nerves. 81! This is Ellen Lee Thomas' first time playing today, and she's going to be playing again when Wade has to in the games. This is Hannah Meek's second game of the weekend. 45! She'll be hoping to lose the nerves from yesterday. 45! Keeping us up from the first of the other on this back on the air. 50! Now, a straight 60 would leave the 170, but is it true? 76! <laughs> 85! 
and you require 154. Gets it down to 109. One step down. 21! And you require 109. Triple 90. And so, triple 18 or triple 10. 54! Means you require 154. again. 60! And a steady 60 to start off. 58! Start from here, making this third leg. Show you how to build on that. 60! Great switch to the treble 18 there. 75! Tom on the side here with Ellen Marie not anywhere near her. 60! Leaves herself 99 for when she comes back. And we hit double one. 12! And you require a 99. Now start on the 19s here. So trouble 20. 12 there. Eighteens, eh? Wonder if she wanted to leave with fifteen now. Fifty-eight. I need to require sixty-six. Now treble ten. That's fifteen. So another fifteen. Oh, she's hit the door. Fifty-one. No score. She's good. Now, Hannah, this time she hits the triple turn, double 18. Yes, I ski shot, and a third leg, anyone? Fourth leg is wheels to throw first, game on. And an excellent hold of throw there for Hannah Mink. 2 1 up. 45! She wants to start a roll here and hopefully take the match here with a break of throw. Sixty! Steady sixty from both players. Twenty-six! Mm, only twenty-six there from Hannah. The advantage now with Ellen B. Thomas. Twenty-three! Forty-five! 
our next girls game will be Paige Pauling taking on Abby Bruce in the second and last of our Wales versus England girls match here. That's a nice trouble there for Hannah Mink, keeping herself in front in this penultimate leg. Great treble there, nice follow. -up. 140! 240, leaves her 145. 41, and you need to climb 145. Thomas Nisa had a hit a treble. 70! And you need to climb 104. Now 104 for Anna Meek. Treble 20 leads to 15. Did she go treble 18 to lead to 15? I wonder. 40! <laughs> 41! And you need to climb 64. Now a chance to take for Anna Meek. Being on girls. That's treble eight, I believe. Yes, double top for the match. Yes, that's key. Shot. And a faucet. Chilwell. That's her first win. We now move into the second and last of our uh, Wales versus England girls matches. We've got Paige Pauling taking on Abby Brewster. And if Paige can win this one, then it would give the girls of England a really good advantage here. Thank you. 
this mother please, it's the second set, first leg, wheels to throw first, game on. Bobby Brewster kicks off here, now she needs the win here for Wales to keep them in contention. 83! And a nice start there with 83. 95! Paige Pullman replying in kind. Abby Brewster is 16 years of age. She plays her county dance for her Morgan. 100! And Paige Pauling, 15 years of age, she plays her dance 28. for the Sussex County. She is the current girls number one in the WDS. 39! And what can you say about what she's achieved so far from last year and currently starting this year? 66. Welsh Open girls, England Classic girls, Viking Cup girls, World Master girls, 60. And World Open girls events she won last year. She has fully established herself. 100. Start from page 85 and you require 148. Uh, 148 to treble tenses for double 14. Oh, that was close. 73 left there, she'll come down. 78! We will require 94. Uh, Abby Brewster, 94. That's 93, so. 19 would have left 29 and you require 70 now please you'll get treble 10 back to the 20s double top for a break of throw first leg 30 will you require 65 now 25 oh, that's that's 2 so 13 is double top oh, 29 and you require 40 Double top, please pull for the first leg. Double 10 now. 35. Wheels require 36. That's in the 15 bed. But Abby Brewster has gone into a run. She has left herself double 9. 18. Yeah. And wheels require 5. So, okay. please pull it. She's not at the wheels require 18. Abby needs to be careful here. Oh, she's left double three. 15. She's gone inside. Wheels require four. Yes, that's game shot. And a first leg, England. That is a break of her. Second leg is England to throw first. Game on. Paige Pauling has a fantastic chance here. To hold it for a 60! Starts off with a steady 60. How will Abby reply? There's a treble. 62! Two loose starts there, only 62. 100! The action of Paige Pauling's is just amazing. The weight she brings it up and then throws. 45! That's why it's helped her win several girls tournaments as of late. 135! Two fantastic scores there, back to back from this young lady. 95! down to 5-1 after 12 darts. 13. England is required 151. How can she set this up here? Right. 30. Only 13. Leaves herself the 1-2-1 one one for when she comes back. I'm not sure she'll go the book route if she does. 66. England is required 121. 
she goes treble 17 and will she go for the ball or will she go 18 or 10 she went 17 that is 42 left for a 2 0 lead Abbas is stationed 60 England in the of 42 but 42 to go 2 0 up double 16 Yes, has the shot. And second leg, England. It's there, and Cage has a 2 0 lead. Third leg is Wills to throw first. Game on. Abby Brewster needs to win all the awards here now. 41. Again, Cage pulling in with the treble. 100. An amazing start there. And Abby in the treble herself. 140! She replies with a nice 140. 100! Paige also replies with a steady ton. 26! Only 26. Abby after that 140. 24. But Paige with a loose visit of her own. 20.
doesn't have to go down here, but she does. Will she go for it? Yeah. Ninety. Page is back in the treble now. One hundred. Will she require the up to one? But thirty-one to break throw and go into the last leg with the throw. Abby Brewster has left double seven. She's Three gone in the sixteen. Now Paige, oh, that's thirteen. So not going to get a chance here. Forty-five. We will require thirty-one. Double fourteen. That I believe was double nine. No score. England Now Paige, stay on the twenties to lead the bullseye. Sixty-five. That was to win the match. Abby's hit twenty. She's missed it completely. No score. England to require twenty-five. A really good chance now for Paige Pauling to win the match here on Oh she's the eleven. One to leave double two now. No, she's both. Will she require thirty-one? Goes now finishing in, but double fourteen for Abby Brewster now. She's gone into double eleven now. She has left double three. Yes, I've skipped shot and a fourth leg. Two wheels. Fifth and a final leg. And his wheels to throw first. Game on. A mag magnificent comeback from Abby Brewster. 2 0 down to make it 2 0. Now has the throw to try and win. 55. 55 to start. What can Paige do here? 60. Steady 60 in reply. Page goes down for a cover shot. 50. Nine. Only nine though from Abby Brewster. So Page has effectively taken the throw. 85. And be back in the treble though. One hundred. This is a nervy last leg here from both girls. Both girls in the treble well there. One hundred. Both hitting steady tons and trebles. One hundred. And Paige will be first to the finish on 113. Abby needs to be careful here. 41. England to require 113. Oh, she's gone into the one, so. She's left. 97 left. She'll go down for trouble 19 to leave double top here. 35. Will she require 155? Now 155 for Abby, not going to take it out. So Paige will be on 78. 26, England should require 78. Treble 18, 20. For double top. 58. Wheels should require 129. Now Abby will start on the 19s here. Well she's gone into the 7. So Paige will then come back for double 10. To win the match. 73. I'm going to require 20. That is a great marker. And again. 6. But it's not there. We will require 56. Abby Brewster, 16 for double top to win the match. 36. It's just underneath. I'm going to require 14. Double 7 for 
plays Pauline. Yes, I see. Shot. She hits it. What a nervy match that was. 2-0 up, 2-0, and in the end, Paige Pauling held a nerve, and she's won the game. Our next match will be... Scotland versus England. Can you welcome representing Scotland, Taylor Sharp. Taylor's opponent today from England, Archie Sell. It's time for our next match, this time between Scotland and England, with the boys now starting. We have Archie Self versus Taylor Sharp. Archie, he plays his county darts for 13 years old. And this is his second year playing for the England boys team. His opponent, Taylor Sharp, 15 years old, plays his county darts for Fife. And this should be a cracker of a first game here with Scotland versus England in the boys. Slight delay with the system but it's up now so the players can have their practice starts. Coming up we've also got Scotland versus Wales in the girls after this boys match. Then we'll have Scotland versus Wales in the ladies. And the end will be the men's finally up. Scotland taking on England. Okay. 
set to his leg is England to throw first. Game on. Archie will kick us off here. And a nice start there. 100. Another good trouble there from Archie Sell. Forty five. An amazing left hander as he shows. Hundred and forty. Absolutely amazing start there from young Archie Sell. start from Taylor Sharp but settling in there this is only the first leg 122 after 12 darts Archie Self is on 62 He leaves himself to a 16 for when he comes back. 100. England require 32. To a 16 for Archie Self for the first leg. Game shot on the first leg. To England. A 7. Second leg is Scotland to throw first. A, se a 17 darter from Archie Self to kick things off here. 45. This young man has been runner-up in the England Open and British Open Youth from last year. One hundred and forty. Eighty-five. And keeping himself in front here. Fifty-eight. Amazing future in front of him. Forty two. He'll start down on nineteen zip. Fifty nine. He wanted a one three nine or better to leave himself on a finish. Forty five. Leaves himself one four four after twelve. Fifty eight. England require one hundred and forty four. Two treble twenties towards twelve. It's not there. He goes to the eighteens here. Number one. Seventy eight. He wanted another to try and leave himself on double eight. Forty two. England requires sixty six. But he's got sixty six there. So 16, double top for a break of throw. 26. It's just above, but Taylor not on a finish. 184. 60. England require 40. Another chance for Archie Self for 2 now. In shot on the second leg. 2 England. Third leg, it's England first. That break of throw has given Archie a good advantage. 82. A good last start there, 82. Taylor needs to try and hit big here. 29. But at the moment he's not. And if Archie can hold his throw here and take the first leg, it will be an excellent confidence booster for the rest of the England boys. 
averaging a steady 83.50 there, Archie Self. 57! An excellent 134 there from Taylor Sharp. Gets himself back into this leg. But Archie's back in the treble. 60. No, he isn't. My apologies. It's hard looking at these cameras I'm looking at. You don't know whether Adar is in a treble or not. 43. Bit of a loose start there from Archie. Loosening his arm up there. 44. Leaves himself on 118 to win the match when he comes back. 77. England, you require 118. Taylor also leaves himself on a finish, but Archie will get first crack at this. Treble 20 to leave double 19. Treble 18 is looking for now. 58. Scotland require 139. 54. England requires 60. A triple 20 would have left him on double top, Taylor Sharp, but Archie now needs double top to win the match. And take the first set for the England boys against Scotland. 40. Scotland requires 85. And now this is a chance for Taylor Sharp to break straight back. Oh, he's missed the 20. 23. England requires 20. Now double 10 to win the match. Archie Self. Or double 5. 15. He goes inside. Scotland requires 62. Another chance for Taylor. He goes treble 14. For double 10. Double 5 now. 57. England requires 5. Now Archie needs to be careful not to hit a 20 or an 18 as he goes for 1. Double 2. This is for the match. 1. It fell on the floor. Scotland requires 5. Now double 2 for Taylor. That's a long way off. That is it. And a break straight back. Fourth leg is Scotland the throw first. Him up. This is a chance that Taylor Sharp might not have gotten. Forty five. Only forty five to start with. That's a great treble 19 there. 96. A decent follow up there from Taylor. 58. And there's another treble. 81. It looks like Taylor Sharp has found his groove now. 96. A great last star there from Archie. Still keeps his nose in front in this penultimate leg. 60. If he can hit a ton or better, it will get him down to a finish. 57. Taylor Sharp will be down to the finish first on 156. That is a great start for Archie there. 
100. Scholarly corners 156. 156. 81. England require 94. It would have been on if he'd hit the trouble with the second up, but Archie. Bullseye to win the game. Game shot in the match. To England. And a bit of a yell there from Archie, but he's won the game. And he kicks things off well for the England boys team against Scotland. Our next game will be Thomas Banks versus Scott Smith. Thomas Banks. We are ready to start the second game of England versus Scotland in the boys category. And here we have the England boys captain Thomas Banks taking on Scott Smith. They've got off to a good start after Archie Self's win over Taylor Sharp. This is Thomas Banks' second appearance. His second year. It's Thomas Banks' second year playing for the England boys. And Scott Smith's also got his second year playing. 41. Thomas Banks recently appeared at the PDC UK Open. And of course, he took the challenge to go in price as best he could with the darts that he's playing right now. This young man has also got a great future ahead of him without a doubt. 97. A nice consistent start there. 85. Fifty-six. Thomas Banks plays County Arts for Hertfordshire, and Scott Smith plays for Perthshire. Forty-three. One hundred and forty. An excellent one forty gets Thomas down to six sixty-eight after twelve. Forty-four. England requires sixty-eight. He starts at the sixteens here. 
He's left double 18. In shot, and the first leg to England. Second leg is England to throw first. And straight in with a break of throw, Thomas Banks. An excellent start here from this young man. 96. And starts off with another decent score. But Scott Smith is also following on. 75. That was unlucky there, that bounce out. Very unfortunate. 140. It's 140. Following on from that 96 for Thomas Banks. 83. He's on one three two after nine darts. He didn't have to start the ball route, but he did. One hundred and two. Check ninety two. He's on double top for a potential thirteen darter. 42, it only requires 40. Game shot, and the second leg, to England. A 13 meter. Third leg, it's Scotland to throw first, he marks. Absolutely fantastic performance from Thomas Banks here. 81. 140. There's just no stopping this young man. His scoring is absolutely incredible. 45. Forty. Thomas Banks has got future world champion written all over him. Forty-four. Forty-four. And as England captain is showing his teammates an absolutely fantastic performance here. One hundred and forty. Scott Smith give up without a fight though, but Thomas straight back in the treble there. One hundred and thirty-five. Excellent three five to leave. Self on 90, but when he comes back to take 60, England require 90. 90. He'll stay on the 20s, double 5 for the match. 85, require He's just inside. Now Scott Smith has a chance here, but not anymore. I'm trying to set it up. 123, England require 5. Leads double 14, but double 2 for Thomas Bank. Game. Game shot. And a match. To England. And a fantastic win there for the England boys captain, Thomas Bank. And England are now 2 0 in Scotland in the boys. Our next game will be.
Carl's opponent from England, Jensen Walker. England boys versus Scotland boys. It's Jensen Walker versus Kyle Davidson. Jensen Walker plays his county darts for Warwickshire. This is his first year playing for the England boys. And it's also a first year debut for Kyle Davidson who plays his county darts for Ayrshire. Kyle, 12 years of age, Jensen, 16. Second set, first leg, it's England to throw first. Game on. Jensen Walker had a fantastic game yesterday against the Welsh boys. 100. And he'll be looking to follow that up here as he's showing right now with a steady ton. 76. And another great visit there to follow up with the ton. 100. Excellent score there from Kyle, reminding Jensen that there are two players in this match. 56. is first to the finish. One, two, seven. Fifty-nine. England require one hundred and four. One, oh, four for Jensen. That's eighty left. He could go tops, tops here. No trouble for double ten. Game shot. And a first there. To England. Absolutely amazing finish there from this young man. Second leg is Scotland to throw first. Game on. We know that Jensen Walker is a fantastic youth player, but he can also take it to the seniors as well. Because one of his... 137. One of his best results from last year was making the semi-finals of the England Open. 70. Where he lost out to the eventual champion, David Pallett. 84. He had beaten the likes of... Yella Klassen in the last 32. 25. Robbie Gorst in the last 16. And former England boys player Jared Cole in the quarterfinals. 
so we know that he's got the talent to do well in the future. 150. Gets himself down onto 106 after 12. 81. England recoil 106. One oh six is on here for Jensen. Following up from the one oh four, can I take the one oh six out? Sixty six. No he can't. But he's got time on his side with Kyle back on two five six. Twenty six, England require forty. So it's double top for a two nil lead and a break of throw for Jensen Walker. And now a chance to hold throat win the match and for England to go 3-0 up on Scotland in this big match. 97. And a good start there. 100. But an excellent reply there from Kyle Davidson. Jensen back in the treble again though. 99. Sixty-nine. Once again, back in the treble again from Jensen. One hundred and forty. Well, the one forty leaves him on a bogey. One sixty-five. One hundred and twenty. That was very unlucky from Kyle. It's a, that was one hundred and twenty floor, missing the one eighty there. Jensen will be first to the finish, but look at this from Carl David. 120. It's happened again. Once again, it's 120 floor. But Jensen, double top to win the game here. 59. It's just below. Now 92 for Kyle. He can't find the treble. 40. That is a consecutive third bounce out now. England requires 20. Double 10 for Jensen Walker. Double 5. Takes his time, readjusts. And a magnificent celebration at the end there.
Hello and welcome once again to the 2023 British Internationals. We're about to start the last of our uh, England versus Scotland boys here. And I'm delighted to be joined by one of the England boys players right now, Archie Self. Hello, Archie. Hello, Mason. That was an excellent performance you did there. Yeah, I got started well and then the third leg killed it. Fourth and, and final set and it's Scotland to throw first. To go to, to win the match and get the point on the board for England. Well, they're currently 3-0 up and it could be 4-0 if Callum Badeau can beat Logan Gilmore here. 58. This is your second year competing in the boys team, isn't it, Archie? Yeah. 36. So do you think that all the nerves would have gone from last year? That's why I hope so, but I still felt the nerves on the stage and just a little twitch of the dart, so... Now Logan Gilmore, he plays his county darts for Fife. He's 12 years old, a year younger than you. 40. And Callum Badeau is 15 years old, plays county darts for Cleveland and this is his debut. 96. As it is for Logan Gilmore as well this weekend. 134. An excellent cover shot there from Logan Gilmore, keeping himself in front in this first leg. 43. Is there anyone you would like to say hello to back home, Archie? Um, that could be watching. My family and friends. Uh, 87. Yeah, I've been watching the stream. We hope that whoever is watching, you are also enjoying the stream and the action. 100. Logan. He will be down to the finish first, Logan Gilmore. 87 left. 59. require 87. He will start on the treble 17s here. Back up to the 20s. Or is it the treble? So back to the 17s now to try and leave double 8. It's a great dart. 71. Callum Bado on 141, but he won't take it out. 79. Scotland requires 16. It's double 8 now for the first leg. Logan Gilmore, double four. Yeah, and he takes a shot. And the first leg to Scotland. Second leg, it's England to throw first. Big mark. That was a hold of throw. 60. 61. Callum starting off with a 60. 60. And Logan in kind with a 60. 30. It's unlucky there from Callum. 96. I don't know the mathematical possibility here, but are England boys on the course to win overall if this. 39. Callum Badeau can win this one, or if it's just 3-1 in the end. 121. As I start to think of it, I do think it's going to be tight, because I haven't been checking the scores. All I know is that um, <coughs> uh, Wales beat Scotland 4-0. 41. England beat Wales 3-1, and they're currently leading 3-0 here. So it's a bit of a choice between England and Wales, then. 95. That's from Logan. 25. Scotland require 129. Logan on 129 after 12. He didn't have to start down on the 19s, but he did. 93. And he leaves himself on double 18 for a break of throw and for a 2-0 lead. Now Callum won't be on a finish. 95. Scotland require 36. So it's double 18 for Logan. He's missed it. He's gone in four. Double 16. He's on the second leg. 
to Scotland. Logan takes a 2 0 lead. Third leg is Scotland to throw first. Game on. And a really good chance if he can hold throw and win. Make it 3 1 overall to England. And look at this. 123. Nearly a 180. Davidson was unlucky in the last game for Scotland. 44. He could have had two 180s, but it was two darts on the floor with 120s. Yeah, they were really unlucky. He hasn't hit two 180s in that last leg against Jensen. And then another bounce out as the last throw, and he hit 40. 36. That's a part of the game. You don't know when these bounces could happen or part of the dart's going to yeah. catch what other part of it. This is consistent scoring from Logan Gilmore. So Logan has left the bogey number, 162. But Callum is all the way back, 421. So plenty of time here for Logan to set this up as best he can. One three eight left. He'll stay down here. No, he's gone back up. Twenty one. Some unlucky dart there from Logan. So that's plenty of time out here, though. Fifty eight. Scotland require one hundred and thirty three. He's still got well over six starts here. He may only need three. He may only need three. Double eight, Double eight. for the match. One hundred and twenty five. Really oh, good I'm effort from Logan Gilmore. Callum needs to try and hit big as best he can, but he's not going to be on a finish. <laughs> throws his, throws his, yeah, sarcastic frustration, I would think. Double two now for Logan. For the match. Great marker. Four. Still has time at it. Callum back on 227. 25. Scotland requires four. Once again, double two. Double one for the match. No score. Callum needs to pressurise this. Once again, he starts down at the 19s and hits the treble. One That's better for Callum. Scotland requires four. Once again, it's double two. Game and it's there. Uh, Logan Gilmore wins by three legs to nowhere. Well, Archie, thank you once again for joining me, and I will see you around. Thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, give him a big round of applause as they leave the stage. Scotland and England.
26. Seventy six. Twenty two. Six. Forty one. Seventy six, fifty five, four, thirty. Fifty eight, twenty nine, fifty nine, one hundred. Wales, you require 170. Thirty-six. Thirty-seven. Wales, you require 134. Fifty-three. Dogging you require 147. 32. Wales you require 81. 56. Scotland you require 115. 33. Check 45. Wales, well, you require 25. Game show on the first leg to Wales. Second leg, Scotland to throw first. Game on. Eleven. Thirty-four. Nine score. Sixty-nine. Forty five, sixty six, twenty six, twenty six. Forty one, forty five, forty two, forty.
Seventy. Seventy. Well, she require one hundred forty eight. Sixty six. Eighty five. Wales, you require eighty two. Thirty. Spoken, you require one hundred and thirteen. Eighty-one. Wales, you require fifty-two. Fourteen. Scotland, you require thirty-two. Sixteen. Wales, you require thirty-eight. Game shot in the second leg to Wales. Third leg is Wales to throw first. Game on. Morgan, County Dance. And Holly Frew. This is her debut and she plays for Ayrshire, 15 years of age. Holly needs to win this leg and break back, otherwise this is going to be over. 27. And I am delighted to be joined once again, just like yesterday, by Callum Bedo. Hello Callum. Hello Mason, I just came off 40. there. Um, I didn't play my best again, but, but honestly I was... I was not as nervous as I was last time, but I just played rubbish. You didn't play rubbish at all. You you can only do your best, and that's all that any dart player can do. Yeah. It and besides, it was your England debut, so you've got to be yes. proud of that. Yes, and and we've got the and with the job Dick Hedman's done uh, to get us there, that is absolutely amazing. And I think we should be getting to both the Europe Cup and the World Cup, which is quite an unbelievable job. It's on Chris to donate. 124. Some good darts here from Ellen Wee Thomas. She has a good chance here to win the game and go 1-0 up. 104. 100. A bit of a miscount there from our referee in telly. 104. Has a chance now, 161, to take the match. It's not there. She's got time on her side, with Holly not on a finish. She needs to hit a treble at this start. She hasn't. Six more darts incoming at 101 for Ellen with Thomas. Oh, that's a not a great dart. Where did that one go? Um... I think she was trying to set it up and it went high. It quite simply went high. She needs to stay straight here. She, she has left a finish, but she hasn't exactly cleared straight. 62 for Ellen Wee Thomas. Is that treble 15? Yes, it is. So, single one. Oh, she's busted. So, outside chance here to take this leg. Not going to go on this visit. But because Ellen Wee Thomas busted it. 23. 
the chance of a win for the Scotland team in this leg. She's once again gone into the treble 15. And she's done it again. No score. She's done it again. You require 128. 128 now. 13. That's not a great visit. Now, she's done one third time's the charm. 16 in tops. Well, she can't bust it unless she has trouble 16. 46. She leaves herself Probably double eight. Uh, not going to go. That's one fifteen. She needs to leave it. Needs to leave it well. Seventy. Well, you require sixteen. Double eight for the match. That's, That's off the board. That bounced out. That is out. lucky. That is a lucky bounce out. No score. Three Probably poor darts there. Three poor darts. She seems to be struggling on the uh, doubles a bit. Does Ellen with Thomas? Yeah. Both of them aren't, to be fair. It's double 15 for Holly Frew. She may have miscounted. She's miscounted here. She's miscounted. I, I can assume we had a scoreboard error there. I can only assume we had a scoreboard error there. I'm, but I'm absolutely certain. Yeah, yeah, she took out 47 there, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, 4, 11, and 30. Oh. And Mason has dropped his mic. Apologies for that. <laughs> yeah, I think. Fifty-nine. It, it was 47 on that last leg that Holly took out, but because the referee gave it, it counts. 45. Yeah, m my mind wasn't going mental. 100. I can yeah. speak. Yeah, neither was mine. Yeah, I can speak. <laughs> Doing a Wayne model there, yes. I see. 39. Wayne, if you're watching, well, hi. Forty. Another bounce out. Needs a treble. 43. Hasn't got one, so this leg is in the hands of Holly Frew. And that was a crucial leg as well, a break of throw. And 40. she's got the advantage with a hold here that could make it 2 all. 41. Good score needed to leave the finish. I think she might have hit a treble 20 there. 70. She has. That leaves 147. 60. Stopping you require 147. 147 going. She's hit a treble. Now that's 75 left. She'll go triple 17 here to try and leave double 12. Well, she leaves herself. She leaves herself 72, and she comes back. Oh, oh that another is another one on the floor. That is really unlucky. I think I might have slipped out of her hand. I don't think she was going for that. I think it might have slipped out of her hand. Either way, it's 72 now for Holly Fruit to tie the game here. Is that an eight? So 14 on the bullseye. No, uh, Ellen Wee's not on a finish though, so she could stay down here. Or I wonder, is she looking at 14s? No. Uh, She's miscounted here, I think. She's left 49. So a 17 or a 9 would be the ideal shot. She's left double 17. She's left double 17 for some reason. Yeah, that was definitely a miscount. I think she thought she was on 70. Well, any double will count. 33. Shot can you require 34? Two 17s. That's low. Out the board there. That's closer. And that's just outside. Two well thrown darts after the first one. Ellen, we need to pressure this as much as she can, but not doing that right now. 30. Not an ideal oh, visit. That high. Need to hit a big number. Yes, she has. Double eight. The two two. Eighteen. Not far off. Well, you require one hundred forty nine. This is on now, treble nineteen. Not now. 89. Stop, 
you require 16. Two eights. For two all. Barley for him. Two fours. Oh, Nitton C. Nitton C the frustration. 60 left. A real chance. Tops. Fall a match. That's not far off. Double 10. Oh, she's just missed it. Two fours. Two twos. Double two. And she's just pulled it. She's pulled it. Double seven. That's closer to double 19. That's closer. Oh, you can't get much closer than that last star. Double two for Holly through. And it is. It's two all. And we are going the distance in this first Wales and Scotland girls game. Wales have the darts. And it is game on. It was not an ideal visit. No, it was 2 0, and now Ellen Wee Thomas has let it slip, and now it's 2 all. Ever since I've joined, Scotland have won every leg. I'm assuming I am cursed. <laughs> 45. This will be a nervy leg, without a doubt, from both of these players. They'll both be feeling it, wanting to win this. 45. Forty-five. Forty-fives from both players. Mm -hmm. Eighty-one. Scotland are still eligible to tie the overall girls' tournament with England if they win overall 22. in this match 2-0 in the two games that we have going. If Wales win one game, England will win it. Thirty. This is because of the results earlier. I will just remind you of the girls' results so far in this tournament. England 1, Scotland 1, and Wales 0, England 2. England have a win and a draw. Scotland have only played one, and they drew. And Wales cannot win the title, as they have lost one. 60. Holly really needs a treble. Desperately. 40. Oh no, not that one. Not that treble. Ellen Wee Thomas will have six knots from 167 here. She needs to try and set it up as best she can. 126 will be left when she comes back. And because 45. of that mishap. It Mishap in board management, she will have six more darts no matter what. And that is a perfect first start. The bullseye. Ooh. She leaves herself. She leaves herself 42 when she comes back. So it'll be 10. Or 2. It. She's left. Double. Yep, yeah, that's a gettable double. My favourite. Same shot and the match to Wales. Wales. Twenty-three. Tri Nations. British Nationals.
Ladies and gentlemen, second set first, ladies. Scotland is our third. Came on. And it's the second of our Wales versus Scotland girls games here. 121. And straight in there with a 1 2 1 is Sophie McKinley of Scotland taking on Abby Brewster of Wales. 41. Both of these girls are 16 years old. Sophie McKinley plays for Stirlingshire and Abby Brewster plays for Glamorgan. 24. Exactly. And she's also been travelling a bit more around parts of Europe. 26. She was runner-up in the Slovak Masters in the ladies, losing to Maud Janssen of Sweden. But a valiant effort there. Yes. Pretty sure she lost in the World Open final to Paige Pauling, I'm pretty sure. In what was a very good match. Yeah, and uh, also she's semi-finalist in the ladies Tallinn Open in Estonia from last weekend with Sophie McKinley. She is behind Paige Pauling. She's the number two in the WDF girls' rankings. She is, of course, the Dutch Open girls' champion and was runner-up in the Slovak Open girls to Paige. And also in the Slovak Masters was runner-up. Yeah, covered from... Um, Hasn't really followed that up, but we know has a to do. Also, Sophie has won girls' events in Northern Ireland, winning the Open and match play. And she's won the Tallinn Open girls this year. Hence the reason why she is number two behind Paige Pauling. But got a fantastic career ahead of her as well. Yes. Absolutely brilliant player. She's keeping herself in front in this first leg with her throw. Sixty. So can you require one hundred and fifty seven? Twenty eight. Forty five. She decided to go for 18 to leave double 16, but so far she's got 46 left for when she comes back. I imagine she'll go 14 for double 16 here. Michael, 6 here, she quite likes tops. You were right. 10, double 18. You were right there. Double 18. Sorry about that with the camera. We've got 102 now for Abby Brewster. 17 to leave tops when she comes back. Which is double 18 now. But any double will count after all. Double 18 for McKinley. Double 16. Of now, Alan we Thomas hit in the last. And Abby is bust that one. Um, I miscounted there. Double six to the far right for Sophie. Forty-one. 
That's not an ideal visit for Abby Brewster on for her. A real good chance here for Sophie McKinley. 55. If she can break through here, then she'll make it one all. Goes downstairs here. Doesn't find a trouble, but she's still keeping herself in front in this second leg for a potential breaker throw. Almost the maximum there from Sophie McKinley. That was a great visit. Nearly a max. And another one of those. And that is a great dart. Going to leave a finish. It's 127 when she comes back. And she's probably going to have nine darts here. Or will she? Yes, she will. A 180 would have left the finish. 100. How can you require the 127? 127. She's hit a 5, so won't take it out now. Try and set it up. 44. Just 44. The 83 for when Sophie McKinley comes back. 60. 137. Or 177 is left. On the on Abby Bruce's side. I think Sophie Lee. And that is a slip. That's a slip that did not go to plan. She'll still have about two darts minimum at tops when she comes back. 59. So 16 for double top for a 2 0 lead and a break of throw. It's there. And Sophie McKinley goes 2-0 up here. The to throw first. Game on. This is a real good chance now for Sophie McKinley to win the match and make it one all between Scotland and Wales in the girls. And that's a great treble there. 85. But Abby is also back in that treble. And another dart. treble. 81. 81 is decent. Consistent scoring from Sophie the Trophy, as she is nicknamed. I never knew that, so, well, I, I guess I'll have to call that from now on. It is a, it is a popular nickname. 100. For someone who's nicknamed Sophie to be nicknamed the Trophy. Now this leg is in her hands on make the match and make it one all overall. This will be to take McKinley. That's one match dart missed, but he'll be coming back because Abby is back on 249. That is an excellent mark. Lucky. But still. But she, she's going to come back no matter what. Yeah, Abby is still not finding any troubles here. And she's still up on that. This is. 
level five. Thirteen. All three of decent darts. One six can't John. Yes. Forty two. Scotland you require ten. Good marker. Game shot and the match to Scotland. Draw for the girls event. Ladies and gentlemen, please.
Hello and welcome back to the Tri-Nations British Internationals. I'm Callum Beddo. Mason has departed for uh, some food. He will be back momentarily. And for now, I will be taking charge of the commentary positions. First up in the Scotland and Wales women's match, it's Lorraine Hyde and Lana Waters-Evans. Lorraine Hyde yesterday lost to Lorraine Winstanley 3-1 in the England match. I was commentating on that and Lorraine Winstanley in the last leg nearly had the magical nine data. Here we go. Wales to throw in this first leg. Alana using a very controversial flight setup, I must admit. Three different coloured flights, which I'm going to be honest, I don't see the point of. Good visit for Lorraine. Recovering from the 43 that she had earlier. That's a good dart. Nice 100 there to re reply. Thirty nine only, so Alana has the advantage. Would like a treble. It's not quite. You can see the frustration in that visit. Two nine one. Not gonna leave a finish after that first dart. Good recovery. A good recovery leaves two or six. She can set that up after Alana takes his three darts, but this is gonna be well set up. Eighty seven scored. That'll leave one two eight. And Lorraine has not left a finish. That is going to be frustrating. 16 ball. Not going to go. 42. Leaves 86. A treble 15, a treble 19 would be good. So. What was Evans? No, she's missed the big 18. That is not what she wanted. Treble 17 to look for. She leaves 50. Now Lorraine Hyde, this will be a steal. It's a break in the opening leg. 20 in tops. Tops now. For an opening break. Oh, you cannot get much closer than that. You can't get much closer than that. 10 off 15, and 10 off 18. Four and tops, I think. Or 12 and double 16. She went for 12, double 16. She just misses it. They're in hide. Double 10. For the opening leg against the throw. And it's right in the centre. You can't get with 12 central than that. You can't get much more central than that. That was a brilliant dart at double ten. Twenty-five dart break, and Lorraine is one nil up. Sixty. Hoping to recover from her loss yesterday against Lorraine and Stanley. This is Wales' first women's 100. game of the 2023 Tri Nations British Internationals. 
to remind you of the score in the England-Scotland game yesterday. It was England 5, Scotland 1. Twenty-six scored there, so it opens the door to hold a throw. Very early in the leg, but as we know in darts, anything can happen, 45. including a slip of the dart into the five, which really doesn't help. Twenty-six. Not been the greatest leg so far. She should have ideally started on 19 there if she wanted to leave a finish. 60. That is an unlucky set of darts. Only 60 from three well thrown darts. 70. She'll. She'll just want to avoid the single one. And she's done that very well, leaving 147 after 18 darts. Great visit. Great visit. And now 147. Mini to go, and it's trouble 17. Not going to go in this visit. For trouble 19. She leaves 62. And now Milana. Is that in 12? So 20 a ball. And she's missed a big 20. And she's accidentally hit the ball as well. That's when you know things are going wrong. That's a good dart. It's not in though, but tops. 22. Will she require 15? Needs to hit the big number, and she hasn't. She hasn't hit the big number. The big number is arguably harder than the double. And now tops for another 25 dart hold. One left. And she deflects low. 15. And she missed the big number again. There's nothing more irritating than missing a big number twice. And now double ten for Lorraine Hyde. That's a good marker. She moves to the left and she gets it. Yes! That is a great start. Lorraine Hyde takes a 2 0 lead. Currently a 56 average. Not the best, but she's got the 2 0 lead. 43. Hello to the 283 current viewers 60. watching the British Internationals 2023. We hope you're enjoying our coverage and uh, later on we have Chloe O'Brien against Kay Hales, Susanna McGimsey, the Scotland captain against Rhianne O'Sullivan. Lindsay Ward against Eve Watson, Emily Davidson against Lisa Hughes, and Seth Gilmore Whoa! against Leanne Topper to end the Scotland and Wales game. And then Scotland and England for the first men's game of the British Internationals this year. It's Scotland and England, and we have William Kirkwood against Reese Colley, Colin Miller against James Horrell, the England captain, Scott Campbell against Martin Atkins, Scott Robertson against Paul Milford, Dean Carr against Noel Grant, Alan Small against Tommy Morris, Jamie Bain against Lawyer Pennell, Nicky Danoon against Scott Mitchell, Danny Truman, James Richardson, Colin Hebblewhite, Paul Hogan, Gary Stone, Jamie Atkins, and finally David Kerr went against Josh Richardson. That will round One. off the action at around 6 o'clock tonight. 
And from now, enjoy the coverage. 45. That's a great first dart. Get out of there. You need to get out of there. So 133. Good leave. Very good leave to try and win the match. Leaving 48. 97. Alana leaves a big fish just in case. 48 now. Double 16 for the match. Double eight. She gets it. Lorraine Hyde recovers from the loss from yesterday. A 62. The second set, first leg, Scotland is no first, game on. Chloe O'Brien has the dart and it is game on. As Paul saw it here, it is tungsten time. That's a slip out of hand. 35. Not the best start for Chloe O'Brien. That second dart was a massive slip. Seven. 
it's a disastrous start for Chloe O'Brien. 35 and 7 in the first two visits, but we know her quality and we know she can recover from that. 85. Decent start. Four K Hales. It's another one that slipped out of the hand. Maybe a bit nervy, possibly. A few nerves, maybe. Another slip. Chloe is really not on her game right now. A few nerves at the start of this game for the Scott. She needs to recover from this bad start. And fast. Six. That's better. It's a nice straight visit. One hundred and twenty five. Great start here. For K Hales. Seems Chloe is starting to find a range. 100. Maybe too late in the leg. 88 now. Went for treble 16. May stay there. Try and leave double 12. No, she went for treble 12. The one thing is, don't oh, bust geez. it. And she nearly did. She nearly did bust it. She leaves tops though, and that is a good leave. Chloe wants to travel. 60. Only Will 60. Tops left. To nick the opening leg. Against the furrow. Just two decent darts. Oh, that wasn't. That was not a decent dart. That was not a decent dart. That's a good start. Travel 19. No, not going to go. <laughs> 74 left. That slipped out of her hand. 87. Went Would very low. I, I can confirm to you that was for treble 14. That's not a very good dart. 23 left. Looking for a free. A double ten. Oh, that is very close. That is very close. Sixty-six. Double eighteen. Oh, and that is that's another one. Normally, if you go low, you get a backup of double sixteen. But on this occasion, she went so low that she can't get a chance at it. Fifty. And you'd see the frustration. You can see the frustration in Chloe O'Brien right now. She's very unhappy with her game. And double five. To take the opening leg against the throw. One left. Five. Can't get it. It's a chance she probably didn't think she'd get. She just needs to take it. And she hasn't. Double two. Twenty-ninth dart of the leg. Thirtieth dart of double one. And it's gone low. Chloe O'Brien needs double eight. To take the opening leg. On the throw. That's very close winning in double sixteen. I could assure you she's going for double eight. That was so close. Now the big thing is, hit the big number, hit the big one. And she hasn't. 
double four. And that's another low one. Chloe seems really off right now. Really off that game. Tough visit of the leg. Well, double two. Got to get this. Three. Very close. Eight. But now we're in a double off. Double two. She gets yes, it. That's a and a it's a leg that Scotland. she probably didn't deserve to win, but she has won Second it. Chloe O'Brien takes a 1 0 lead in this second game. Nice visit there for K. Hales. Chloe needs to find her range and fast. 60. Hasn't really done that. Only 60 there. She ideally needs two trebles at her next visit. But it also depends what K. Hales does here. 41. Yeah, two trebles is ideal. She's not going to get him. In fact, she hasn't got any. Hills now has a chance. That's a good first half. Follow it. She hasn't quite done that. Easy one. Both players have had 12 darts and they're both in the mid 200s. Chloe in the high 200s, to be fully exact. Hills needs to finish, and Chloe needs two troubles to leave, finish herself, and that will not happen. 43. Will she require 155? 155. It's not going to happen. She needs to find a treble. Well, she can't leave a finish anyway. A treble just makes life a little bit easier, and it hasn't. She was the middle bit. Ball 25 ball. Not going to go. 111 left. She'll look for 19. Left 92. Two troubles needed for O'Brien. Oh, she hasn't even left the finish. That is a disaster. That is nothing short of a disaster. Leaving 168 after two singles. And then a low single. Leaving a non finish. 27. 65 is left when she comes back. That was in. That was in the treble. And it fell out. And it makes Hill's life a bit easier. 65 now. 9 or 17. It's her choice. She went for nine. Tops. She gets yes, it. And the second way. To wheel. 27 darts. Hall of throw. And it is one all. Eighty-three. Eighty-three scored. One 
97. Nice visit there. Leaving 3 2 1 after six. It's an ideal position. But this is even more ideal. 100. That's even more ideal. 3 or 1 after six. That's not. That's far from ideal. 22. 22 scored, so that puts Hales in a decent position. Twenty-four. 24 scored, so both have not had a very good third visit, which means it's still in anyone's hands, and that is a bad dart. 52. That's not much better. 52. A treble here would be ideal. Four. She doesn't get it. A possible max. Oh. Eve, one, two, six. She could have left 67 if that third treble went in. One two six now for the Scot. Wants a treble. That is the worst possible outcome. Nine. A bounce out would have been more ideal because that had left a straight turn. Ninety nine is way harder than a hundred. Frustration getting to K Hales. 99 now. Let's take a 2 1 lead. That's the first start in. Single 10 or 2. And she's missed a big number. That is a disaster because she could have just went between the wires of the 10 and the 6 and just confirmed that she was going to hit one. 75. She's left double 12, which is another decent double, but. It's made life a little bit harder for herself than it could have been. 55. Strong you Two 12s now. Two left. One left. No. And that. That's a disaster. 127. Take a 2 1 lead. It's on. That's dead centre. Treble 17. Oh, no. I think she went to play safe and just go for the big 17. And she's went low into the double. That is a disaster. A one would leave double 16. She's left double 7, I think. She's left double 7. Needs to hit the big number. Does so. Double four. One dart left. No. Nope. And now double seven for a steal. Double seven. She doesn't get it. She has to split it now. And it hasn't panned out well. Double four. And it's went low. It's went low again, like it has so many times in this match. Double seven. Nails it. I was unsure about her busting it because double seven is a very dangerous double. But she proved me completely wrong. Two one and a break of throw. Good first start. Once another. Easy one. 
Only 81. Four fifteen after six starts is not the ideal position to be in. But then again in my game I was basically in the same thing same position every leg, so I can't really say much. <laughs> Two seven nine is left. Both players having a decent leg. Sixty. Nineteen. That has just done done all the good work. And now the leg is in anyone's hands again. It's more in the hands now of Kay Hills. One hundred. Two sixty. Needs it a ton. It won't happen. Twenty four. That's a nightmare. It's a nightmare, is it? One five five now. To take this second match. That's a great first start. Not a great second start. 85. Will she require 142? 142. Not gonna go. She needs to set this up. Hundred and ten left if she comes back and she will. Forty five. This leg's still in anyone's hands. But K Hales has the advantage. One one ten. Treble eighteen. Would have left the double eighteen. Fifty eight. Strong to one hundred and six. Treble 17 now. She has to get it. Has to get it. Treble 17. She hasn't. It's not far off, but. 54. Take 52, Shorty. Will she require 52? It's 52 left now. For Kales to take this match. Double 8. So that's in the treble 12. Double 4. For the match. No. 54. Not gonna go. Scotland you require 54. Another one of them are free. 22. Wheels you require 8. And count on 4. Double 4. One left, it's a big dart. Oh, no get much closer. Yeah, it is in. It hasn't been the highest quality game. Fifth leg, Brian has the darts to win this match. Eighty one to start, good visit. K Hills really needs to respond. Sixty. Sixty. Six. 
Wants to travel here. Really wants to travel. One. She gets it as well. That's a great dart. Great dart considering the pressure. That's a bad first dart. Needs to recover. 45. Two seventy left. That's not a good dart. Fifty seven. Fifty seven scored, which leaves two one three. Forty five. That's a good dart. That's a very good dart. Leads 1-1-4 one, one, when she comes back for the match. Kay Hales really needs a good visit, and that is a good start. Ideally, another treble. She went downstairs. 114 for Chloe O'Brien for the match. Not going to go. Shake it ahead. Mm. We'll do the ninety-six. Ninety-six for the match. That's in a big one. Trouble nineteen. We'll leave double nineteen for the match. Oh and the groans of the whale supporters and a family. The groans ring around the Golden Power Resort. Double sixteen for Chloe O'Brien for the match. Double eight. Yeah. And she gets it! And the set. Apologies about Just that. Over. Apologies about not capturing the winning dart. Had a bit of a malfunction, but Chloe O'Brien did take it. And we are one all. Check 2 0, sorry.
Good afternoon to all of you watching at home. Welcome to the 42nd Tri-Nations British Internationals. I'm Callum Beddo and this is the Scotland and Wales ladies match between Rihanna O'Sullivan and Susanna McGimsey who, as Ian Tilly said, is playing her 50th match for Scotland this weekend. Right, okay, ladies and gentlemen, best of order, please, is the blood set first leg. Wales to throw first. Game on. And as Paul Starr would say, it is tungsten time once again. Rihanna O'Sullivan gets us kicked off. 60. Not the ideal for start for Wales overall in this match. 2-0 deficit that they need to recover. And we only have six sets to play. 55. It may feel like a long time, but it isn't. 60. A steady start there for Ian. 85. Hasn't strayed from the 20 yet. 60. And she still hasn't, so my jinxing didn't <laughs> didn't happen this time. Susanna in the treble 20. 83. 83 scored. Good visit. Still hasn't strayed. 100. Very impressive start there for Ian O'Sullivan. Hasn't a strayed from the treble 20. 81. That's a good first start. Ooh. 60. Should I announce that? that there's going to be a half an hour in an interval. 60. 60 scored. 84. Trouble 17 now. Not going to go. 66 left. Leaves double 18, a very good visit. 56 now, tops. One left. No, and you can see the disappointment. You can see the disappointment. Double 18, double nine. Great art, great art. From Susanna McGimsey. She takes a one nil lead over the two time world finalist. Rihanna O'Sullivan. And it looks like we have had a Dark Connect malfunction again. Yes, it appears we've had a malfunction. Um, so I'll take this time to announce the next few games. Uh, after this it is Lindsay Ward against Eve Watson. Emily Davidson against Lisa Take Hughes and Steph Gilmore Eve against Eve. Leanne Topper to end the Scotland and Wales women's match. 41. It appears we're sorted and we will continue with the game. 60. Hang on, could get a match here. 121. Great response. Great response from Rihanna Sullivan. 100. This audience are absolutely enthralled by this match. 60. I can, can barely hear a pin drop in this hall. Great leg. Great leg from both players. Of 99 after 12. 
Not quite as good as what we saw from the Roman Stanley yesterday. But six starts guaranteed at 99. Trouble 20. Not good to go. May stay there. No, she went for trouble 16. And that, and that has left double 12. Rianne leaves 100 if double 12 doesn't go for 2 0 lead. That's just low. Double six. Wrong one. Wrong bed. And a ton left. Six, 60. Double ten. She gets it. And the roar from Rihanna O'Sullivan. It's a great finish. Take a first leg of this match. In what looked like it was a certainty that Susanna McGimsey would take it. And nearly a maximum. Five. 85 scored for Susanna. 85. Wants a treble. 60. Not got it. A ton scored there, so. A 140 is probably a minimum ask. She's got one of the travels required. One Not quite both of them. For a 14 data possibly. 15 she gets tops. Oh and that is not far away. But she has got three more darts guaranteed. It's been a very high quality match. Double 10 now. Two left. And she gets it. And you can hear the roar once again. From Rihanna O'Sullivan. Forty-one. Forty-one scored there. So this gives Rianne, if she can stay straight and hit a treble, a decent advantage. Sixty. Hasn't quite got it. Eighty-five. That's a good dart. Not so good. 83. 41. 41 scored there. That's a great dart. Great dart. To get herself back in front. But Rianne is cutting down on that lead. 100. Just a ton there. She thought it would have been more. This could be a max here. Second of the match. 140. Almost. Susanna McGimsey, the Scotland captain, on her 50th appearance for the country. 100. Yeah. 109. 109. Went for the 19s. Ball, treble 18 possibly. She went for treble 18. She just missed it. 42. Now this is for a crucial point. 73. For the third set. 14. Tops. Just high. Just high. 10 for tops, 18 for double 16, she's hit the double, it's double 7 now, double 7, oh and no that score. is a disaster, it's not only has she missed it, she bust the score and that is game shot on the match, 
Riyad O'Sullivan takes the win by three legs to one. It was a very high quality match. Fourth set, first leg, it's Scotland to throw first. Game on! Away we go then with this fourth set of this Scotland versus Wales ladies game. Sees Lindsay Ward, who played yesterday. Fell to a defeat there, but making her debut for Wales, as you can see on the screen here, is Eve Watson, who represents Glamorgan at county level. Steady 60 to start for a debut for Evis. Not too bad. One hundred. Followed up by a ton from Lindsay. It's a fairly close game every year, the Scotland ladies versus Wales ladies. Uh, as I mentioned yesterday, with the youth between the boys, it's always a close game. But as I was proved yesterday, it was a bit one-sided for Wales. Uh, but this one, with the women, it usually is more of a close game. Lots of three alls and four twos over the years. Uh, I can recall, I believe I remember seeing 1-5-1 a few years back, I'm not too sure. 41. But either way, we're in for a cracker again. Forty. Just unlucky there from Lindsay. That falling out as he was resting on the two barrels above. So we are halfway through this women's game, obviously. Six sets to be played, this being the fourth. Two more to come after it with Emily 32. Davidson taking on Lisa Hughes. 
and the final game seeing Steph Gilmore taking on Leanne Topper and then following that will be the final game of today which will see the old battle of Scotland men versus England men I'll be starting around about 20 to 3 maybe a little bit later depending on a break and it will be a cracker and of course if you do stick around with us for tomorrow the final day of action we'll see the men of Wales take on the men of Scotland first thing in the morning 17. at 10am myself Wales included and then we'll see the final game as Wales take on England and to round the England uh, to round the weekend off in style the host Scotland nation of England take on us Welsh lot so there's a lot more action coming up for you this weekend but Eve the first to have finished with 6 year 10 16 for tops yes one at double top 26 not too far away 92. And Lindsay here 92 she's looking at the treble 20 yes double 10 82. that is unlucky but back up to double top now for Eve with three in hand Once ago, no very score. unlucky. Score required 20. Yeah, three in hand now for Lindsay to take the first leg at double 10. Two at double five now. 16. Leaves herself. Where's she does return. 40. But Eve with another three. Only Game start the first leg. Two legs. Yeah, as I mentioned, as I mentioned a little bit earlier, Eve making her debut, taking that first leg. Thirty-six. Eve making her debut represents Glamorgan at their county level, and being an ex-Glamorgan player myself very proud of her seeing her rise over the past few years before I mean before the COVID lockdown she was a very good steady B player but give her credit she'll say her game has come on so much lately 45. over the past two years she's a credit to this women's side she's a credit to Glamorgan and she worldwide 43 slip there and of course, Lindsay here played in the first game yesterday against Sexy. world champion Bo Greaves. Looking to rectify that today. However, she is 1 0 down here. And Eve. Oh, Eve does have the darts. Leg. She is slightly behind as Lindsay takes. A seven-point lead. Sixty. What a steady sixty there from Eve. Forty-one. Little bit of a slack last start there from Lindsay, but Eve catching that treble twenty. She will be first to a finish if she keeps this straight. One hundred. Yeah, a lovely ton there sets her up 142 when she returns all Lindsay can really do here is catch two trebles but she can't now 41 yeah steady 75 there from Eve just saw 67 when she returns. All Lindsay can do is hit an 18 to leave a finish. And she's done just that. She's left herself the big fish if she does return. But treble 17, 10 or an 18 here. Oh, that's a bit of a slip. 12 or a 4 now to leave a double. Thirty-seven. 
It's going to require 170. Well, if you can't hit a four hit, a treble. Fair play, she's left herself 32, now that she will return. 60 from Lindsay leaves her 110, however, 32, 3 at it. Good mark of it. Lovely, lovely last start there. Yeah, Eve taking a 2 0 win here, uh, a 2 0 lead here in her A, her Welsh debut. Yeah, credit to her. I mean, I personally I haven't seen Eve in about three or four years now. And just watching her play here, she's definitely improved 110%. And she knows she has. She knows she's playing unbelievable lately for her. 42. Two loose starts in the first two visits there, but she's still still in front here. A point. Sixty. Yes, yeah, steady sixty there from Lindsay. Leave back in that travel. Eighty-three. Yes, yeah, nice eighty-three there from Eve. Ninety-five. Lovely, lovely dart there. Of course, like we mentioned, the ladies, two more to come after this. Emily Davidson versus Lisa Hughes. 81. Um, quickly point out tomorrow's games between Wales and England. Some tasty looking ones here. Alana Waters Evans kicking things off. Wales women yet again against Claire Brook. And, and probably one of the best games you're going to see this weekend. Rhiannon O'Sullivan taking on Bo Greaves. What a match that'll be. And then Eve, who you see here playing, will take on Lorraine Wynn Stanley. Kay Hales will take on Joe Locke. Lisa Hughes, who we have yet to see. She'll take on the captain, Dieter Hedman. And Leanne Topper, who we also have yet to see, will take on Jane Monaghan. But a steady 85 from. Eve there takes her down five from 150 for the match. 60. Where do you really do is find a 60. 13 for tops for the match. One in hand. 25. That is very, very unlucky there, but treble 20 now. Oh, that's 57. 56 left. 74. You apologize, that was a treble seven. Well, look, in, but three at double top. Good marker. One to go. 20. Very unlucky there. Scotland require 40. Three at hands at top. Snow for Lindsay. Brilliant marker. Double ten. 20. Wales require 20. Team target for Eve. Double ten. That's a perfect mark. Two perfect markers. Ten. Scotland requires twenty. Oh, that is unlucky. Sixteen. Very unlucky. Wales require ten. However, Eve now three at double five. One to go. There it is. An E-win debut in the Welsh shirt for Eve Watson.
Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome back to the Tri Nations British Internationals 2023. I am Callum Beddow, and I'm joined by Dean Carr How's it of going, Scotland. Paul? You alright? I'm fine, pal. How are you? Good, good, aye. It's been uh, quite good so far. Quite enjoying it. Yes, some, some of the. Yes, very, very good. This match here is Emily Davidson of Scotland against Lisa Hughes of Wales. Currently, it is 2 2 between the two teams of Scotland and Wales, and wins the majority of these matches. They go. As a free all draw. And as Lee Cadigan says, it's game on. Emily's not played that great this weekend, to be fair. She's, no. normally, she's normally really, really steady, really good, but struggled a wee bit yesterday. Yes, I commentated on the last yes. game, and she yes. definitely did not play no. her best game. Uh, yes, that she yes. normally can anyway, so hopefully yes. we'll see a different Emily today. And for that first start, I think it's it. Safe to say that wasn't very good. Right, right that's no what we're looking for. We bit of nerves, maybe. Yeah, a couple of early nerves, possibly for Emily Davidson. You know yourself when you get up on that stage. It's yes, the nerves kind of take over a wee bit. Yeah, it's sometimes it helps and sometimes it doesn't. Yeah, on on this occasion it Correct. didn't. Yes, yes. Yeah, both today and yesterday, but hang about. One. Great visit there That's to recover from that start. Good. Another good turnout today as well. Good crowd. 16. Very good crowd here today. Especially on a Saturday morning as well. Correct. When people want to have a sleep in and all that. Very good crowd. Especially last night, I heard the karaoke was pretty good as well. So, <laughs> <laughs> a few, yeah, I a few didn't stay heads for that. today. <laughs> I did not stay for that. <laughs> you be in your bed, eh? <laughs> yes. <laughs> I mean, I stayed for the entire thing except for that. 16. Steady darts. Yes. Decently steady from both players. Thirty-two. Maybe not so good there, family. Could they be settling down a wee bit there? Now, Dean, you are fifth up against North Forty-seven. The men's games yes. after this. Uh huh. Yes. Uh, that'll be a good match. Uh, I know that. Uh, I know that Noel's in decent form. Uh, are you? Are you uh, confident you can win that? Uh, well. Every game is different, but you've just got to go up there and try your best. But I was at the UK Open, yes. um, and I, I actually sat and watched Noel's game. Yes. Um, I'm sure he played Graham Usher, if I mind right. Oh, yes, he did, yeah. Yeah, I remember, remember catching up on that game I'm when sure it was, I'm sure it was Graham Usher. Maybe it was there. Maybe getting confused, but I've watched his game, I'll and he threw some yes. really, really cracking darts. Yes, I'll try and check that information Whoa. right now. Aye. Aye. But Where right now, yeah, he was a, a Riley's qualifier. Yes. Um, so he was the the guy we were watching. Uh, no, was on before it. Um, yes. No. As I no say, Grant. He threw really cracking darts. Oh, I think he missed a couple of doubles. Yes. And then his game kind of pattered out a little bit from there. Yeah, that could. But that up could to that point, he was really good. Really good. So I'm looking forward to it. Double four now, and that is and not in. It gives us outside chance. For Lisa Hughes to take this first leg, and that's a great first start. Another one of them. Double six. To the east side of the board. I'm not even sure I can't even see if it's in. Do you see it? It is in. Double six. Taking the time. Oh, oh and okay. very close. That was unlucky. Very close. Maybe just a bit too long, eh? Yeah, I think it's over really, there. Yeah. Thinks you wait a bit too long. Two fours now. Yes. Game in. And that is in. 23 dart breaker throw. Above the current average of the Scotland team. 65 for that leg. First dart a bit wild again there, family. Last couple, last leg. She recovered from that first dart because. First leg, it was in the 18 segment. 
And I can assure you, she was not going for that. Great darts. That's, that's Great nice stacking touch. darts. Yes. And the fights came out. It's another flyer. Could have done with a treble there. There's the main man right there. <laughs> there he is. The England manager. What's his nickname? I've completely forgot no it. Idea. I've completely oh, forgot it. I know it, I just completely forgot it. Need to get out of that five segment. I drifting over, eh? Yes. Uh, and I know the feeling of that because I couldn't get out of it in my five, game. Fives and ones. <laughs> it was mainly fives for me. Yeah. I literally couldn't stop hitting it. But that's a great stack I've seen of you art. celebrating a treble. <laughs> That was sarcasm. <laughs> Complete sarcasm. Because I knew the game was near enough over. But I knew because he was on a, a lower double that I think he could he could have missed it, but unfortunately for me, he didn't. Aye. But Logan's a cracking player. Fine wee, fine wee player. Yes. He's going to be good for Scotland. He already is. It's all that obvious. Yeah, yeah. Coming in the men's category and he things like that. He already is good, so. so. Uh, yeah. ah, he's very good. <coughs> yes. A bit of that for him. Yeah, could get another in there. Yeah, it's better. Just the ton. Straightened them up a bit anyway. Yes, just the ton though. That could have been a better visit. One treble to do. Stack on top of that. Oh, Ooh. it's a bad dart. It's a bad dart. 227 incoming. Nice wee score for you, Emily. Good bit, bit, bit pressure. Needs a treble. She needs to find one from there. 78. She has. Wales Sorry, it wasn't on the camera. Apologies for that. Maybe it wasn't on the camera. Though. But we can confirm it was in treble 19. Steady that. This may be a must check in terms of this leg. It's on treble 19. Not on now. 68 left. May stay up for treble 20. She has. Brilliant visit. 141 to the 60 left. Applying the pressure anyway. There's the first mistake. Yep. That, that that's pressure goes, shot. This is dead centre. Double four. It's got to take a two in the lead. Maybe flick off the barrel. Unlucky double two. That's Six. just high. Just when high. Two tens. It's a break back. It's unlucky. Double five. Nice. Second leg. Two it's 1-1. One, one. It's game on once again. You'd have got concerned for Lisa um, when she went 1-0 down to a break of throw as well. But she brought that right back. Not the best start. Not no. Not the best start. Not when you've got the throw. Not the best start at all. That's unlucky. That's a flick off the flick. Yes. That, eh? Yeah. And you know you're good when you you going when you're doing that because but this this is also good grouping. Uh, I was lovely, gonna say lovely darts. You know when you're having deflections, you know you're decent because you're getting the darts in very the close area. to each other. In the area. You're getting the, within the area of where the last one is. That's when you know you're decent. And you have a chance. Needs to understack on that. She's overstacked. She needs to get below. Oh. She hasn't. Forcing the issue there. Trying to make. That's a good dart. Needs to follow it. Hasn't. Oh. That's, a, that's a poor visit from yes, where definitely. she's been. From where she was in that um, first, first dart. Yes. Right on that top wire. Sitting perfect. Yeah. Sitting perfect. Seriously, 
Seriously, in any other sense, that might have been a 180. Steady, but it's not enough. There needs to be a treble in there. It needs a treble. So, what's next for you then? 41. What's next for me? Yes, tournament wise. Um, I've got a league going on Tuesdays back home in Hartlepool. Um, uh, I'm doing okay in that. I've got great. But I have been getting myself into a bit of form and I, and I thought I was going to do pretty decently here. Then the nerves got to me and then I blew it. But overall, I'm still happy with my, where my game is and I'm pretty excited for the next tournament with England, which is the Europe Cup. Right. I'm very excited for that. Good. With the job that Dieter Hedman has done to raise all the funds to get us there, and the planes and everything, she has done an absolutely fantastic job. And I've said it before and I'll say That's it again. That's a great visit, family. Great visit. Yeah, I've said it before and I'll say it again. She's an absolute brilliant ambassador for both the youth, women's and men's game. Absolutely brilliant. I had a, I done a bit of commentary with Dita last night. And I'll be honest with you, I couldn't really get a, a word in edgewise. She was really, really good. Yes. Uh, just kept talking the whole way through it. Double six. She's got it. That's a great finish. Paul's is about that. Paul's is about that. Paul's is about that. Hmm. Let's see if we can get this, yes. this first dart right this time. Oh, that's and that's unlucky. a bounce out. 39. That's only 39. There. It was only 20 points on the floor, but tw that 20 points could be a crucial 20 points. It's not that bad after all when you, the lassie's no capitalised on it. Yeah. When you have a po when you see your opponent have a bad stroke of luck, yes. you need to capitalise. Oh, she did not do that. Correct. She did not do that. Great last start. Aye, nice last start there. Great last start there. And that's one in. That's two that's in. Two. Come on then, fill it up. She's done it! Yes. And that is the first maximum of this that's match. That's Emily. Emily Davidson coming in clutch. Oh. And hang about. Go. Okay. Oh, I thought she was going for it. <laughs> that's great. That is a great recovery and a great reply. An excellent reply. Because she hadn't had the best leg no, coming into no, this uh, exactly. one, coming into that visit, and then she pulls that out. But neither of them, neither of them did. To be fair, and then they both pull out between them a one eighty and a one forty. Emily will be disappointing lot to, not to leave a finish, finish there. there right, exactly. Yeah, um, Lisa won't either. It's a cracking last dart, but yeah. but she hasn't left a finish, so it's six darts guaranteed at one eighty. One. But she may not leave a finish if she goes straight again. She hasn't, so she has left a finish. 150. Good score here. Yeah, Applying good score. Pressure. She'd like another. She's one treble. Oh, she's got one. Absolutely brilliant. Makes a, it's a massive difference. Yeah, massive difference. She's left 66, and this 150 won't go. Not sure if that can you see. I can't I can't tell either. It wasn't sure in. It, was in the end. it wasn't in and that was quite unlucky. Sixty six left. Another one of them would leave double eighteen, yeah, but I'm not sure she's gonna go for it. She is double eighteen. For two two. Ooh. Oh now this is for a three two lead. One oh eight. I would go treble nineteen here, this is my way of going. She went treble twenty. She's went the twenty route. Trouble 19 now for Bull. No, nope, not going to go. That's the advantage of going that route because if you go astray, you still have a chance of leaving a treble bull shot. Double 16 now after that loose first dart. Needs to it's find it. Needs to hit it. Needs to hit it. <laughs> Gets it! Gets it! There you go. That was a good, 
That was a great switch. And this fifth game will go all the, the distance. It's Wales to throw first. Game on. Nice score to start off with. Yes, yeah, a very good score under the pressure. She's got a treble. 100. Nice response for Emily there. Yeah. Sixty. Steady darts. Just be starting to feel the nerves a wee bit. Maybe not. Maybe not. <laughs> <laughs> as soon as you say that, she finds another treble. She finds her treble. Let's see if Emily could match it. That's it's unlucky. It's unlucky. Needs a treble, needs a treble, just to extend the lead. She's done it oh, again. she's done it as well. Last dart again. The last dart again, coming Saving in clutch. Saving her beating. Coming in clutch. 49. Emily's struggling with the marble pouch there. Got the old marble drift going. Nice visit. Leave 65. Nice visit. Leave 65 and she will probably, yes, yeah, she will be guaranteed six darts at it. 38. Wales requires 65. Had a message from Glenn Duran earlier today that, um, earlier, that he, I'm trying to steal his commentary job as well. <laughs> <laughs> and he asked, said to me all the very best and, and I thank him for that. That's Unfortunately, good. I couldn't uh, fulfil it, but... Uh, it's a it's a great experience anyway. Well, that's what I was going to say. You get your experience and you move on to the next one and learn for it, and that's what yeah, it's all exactly. about. That's and try and improve. 26. Yes. Where does he call Double ten could now. Be it here. This could, could be, be it. Game. Double ten. Two left. There you go. And it's in. That's it. Wills guarantee a draw in this fifth match.
Hello and welcome back to the Tri Nations British Internationals. I'm Callum Beddo. Dean Carr has left the commentary box to practice for his game in the Scotland and England men's game. I will be here for most, most if not the entire. Na Bloody hell! <laughs> that scared. That scared me. That bounce. I'm not gonna lie. Six and final set, Scotland to throw first. Game Steph Gilmore has the darts to try and make it a level game in this final match of the Scotland and Wales women's game. Good start. For both players. Decent start here for Steph Gilmore. She didn't play her best yesterday against Dieter Hedman, um, losing the game. But we can immediately see she's not she's not dwelled on that, and she has got right back to it. Not the best visit. Liam really needs two trebles. She's got one of them. Oh. Only one. Oh, it's on. Trouble nine. Single 11 for tops. Just off. Want to go 19s, and she hasn't left to finish. That's poor ball management. Poor ball management. Tops now for a 20 dart hold. 21 dart hold. No. Double 10 now. Two left. And that's in. Steph Gilmore takes the first leg in 23 darts. And it adds pressure on Leanne Topper to try and win this overall match for Wales. The first women's game ended 5 1 in favour of England over Scotland. This game is currently 3 2, as you can see on your screen. That's a good first start. Wants to follow it. That's a little look at deflection. You, she, you see, she definitely followed it. That was a deflection. Sixteen. 
The hand's left 56, and Steph is not on a finish. She needs a travel to leave one, and she hasn't. Six darts at 56 for a very good leg. 15 darts, and she's down to 56. Tops. Double 10. No, that's a disastrous dart. Leaves double 7. Ninety-seven scored, leaves ninety, and there's fourteen, double seven. It's no guarantee. That's a blocker. Oh, she just went right over it. That's a brilliant dart. It's a great dart. To recover from that one-nil deficit, it is a hold of throw. She will need to break no matter what. In this game, she wants to get the overall win for Wales. 100. Decent visit. Nine. That's not ideal. Take a look at Steph Gilmore's darts. I'm pretty sure they are a set of target Nathan Aspinall darts. Yeah, taking a closer look at them, I think they are Nathan Aspinall darts. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think they are. 100. That's not ideal. Only 26. And with the Anne having a decent leg. And that is even better. Another one of them would be good. Just a ton. Right. She'll want to set this up. Stay in the 20s segment. And that is a perfect dart. Should expect to follow that. She hasn't. Oh, but a 140. That is a brilliant visit to leave 52. And Steph hasn't left the finish. It's here, roll her eyes. She's not happy with it. Tops. Tops for Leanne Topper. For another 18 dot leg. And that is a pull. That is a pull. But Steph Gilmore is not on a finish. 54, 54 scored. 35. She went 15 double 10. Take the step back. Compose herself. This for a break. In 20 darts. Double 10. Double 7. Just outside. I was, you're not going to say anything. Tops for a big finish. Oh! Double seven. Oh, she's hit the big 16. She can't, can't get it. Tops now for a real steal. She gets it. That is a leg. Go over it. In this final game. Four, four, one. Great dart. It's a great dart. Only 60. 260 starts in this leg. And another ton for Steph Gilmore. That puts her in prime position to break and win this match and draw the overall match between Scotland and Wales. 100. It's a good visit.
Steph needs another travel. Made life harder for herself and she's not going to get it. To remind you, this is the final game of the Scotland and Wales ladies game and then we'll move on to the Scotland and England men's games. First up for that is William Kirkwood against Rhys Colley on debut. Would expect a few nerves. 26. That is a frustrating visit because she knows she could have left the finish. That is a lucky dart. It was so wide that it landed in treble 12. And 76. 76 is overall a decent score because it, it leaves a finish despite the awful first dart. Sixty five scored. One five four, not gonna go. This has to go. Has to go in at least six. It may go in three. Ball for a short stopper. Oh a very close call. Hundred and ten now. Trouble seventeen. No. She's left 60 if she comes back. Leanne Top at 25. Double eight. Big dart, big finish, and a big, big leg. Fifth and final leg is Scotland to throw first. Game on. Here we go, Scotland's darts. It's a great dart, great start. Forty-three. Oh, that's a bad dart. It's, it's almost a lucky dart in. In, it, in essence, because it was so bad that it landed in the big 18, and it's not a one. That's a great dart. She wants to follow it. She'll be kind of disappointed with that after the first dart, but it's so good. That's a great dart. Should follow it. Oh. Let's see, frustration in the eyes of Steph Gilmore. That's another great dart. Should get a 140 from there. She has! And the roar! From the, both the crowd and Leanne. She'll want another ton or a ton 40 to leave a decent finish. That's not ideal. She should to a Eans. She needs to travel now. Frustrating. Frustration. Need to travel. Oh, and that's a disaster. That's a disaster. Travel 19. 74. Steph Gilmore cannot take out 119. She needs it at 418s or 420s. She's going for 420 to leave 32. It's only two. That's not enough. 74. 63 now. 13 in the ball's eye. Taking her time. 13 and ball. Hear the sound of Tungton's silence. Oh, she's missed the big number. Oh, she missed that one as well. 19. That is a disastrous visit. And now, this opens the door for Steph Gilmore to draw the game. Double 12. 
She's done it! She's done it. Steph Gilmore has taken the win and it is a draw.
Scotland versus England. Can you give a big warm welcome? Representing Scotland, William Kirkwood. William's opponent this afternoon, representing England, Rhys Coley! Ladies and gentlemen, we have the best of seven legs. Referee Ian Tilly. Good, good afternoon, everybody, and welcome back to the 42nd Tri Nations British Internationals. I'm Callum Beddo, and I am joined for this first men's match by my opponent in my first game in the boys. Riley Reese Tucker, hello. We're not going to talk about the result then. No, I don't really want to because it was an absolute disaster. <laughs> it is a 12-set match. Still the best of five legs, I, I, I no, think. No, it's I the best say. of seven, as Ian Tilly said. It's the yeah. best of seven, all the matches. Conley's debut for England in this match. And he has the darts in this opening leg. And it is game on, as Ian Tilly says. He has such a fluent throw, doesn't race. And that's a perfect... 100! Perfect first start. Couldn't really follow it, but a nice turn to kick off. The treble on the right-hand side, it made it so... It made it look like it was going to be filled up with two more, but obviously had an apple. Yes. Yes. Um, another shot here. Forty-two. Not the best follow-up. But it's yeah. just been a worse start for I mean, Will Kirkwood in this. It seems to me that William Kirkwood's throw, it, you see with his left arm, he still sort of trails yes. to the right-hand side. And sometimes that can drag darts towards the other places, that is apart from the treble 20. Yes. And that can sometimes like, lead to some drags. Yeah, that wasn't a drag this time. That was, that was a good recovery because it was two pool visits before that. But Reese is powering on now. Yes, you f you'd think there'd be a few nerves. You'd think there'd be a few nerves going into his first game for England, but there doesn't appear to be much. Well, William, even if he did get a 180, he still wouldn't have left a finish. And Reese is on a two data and uh, really no pressure at all. Tops for a 14 dart hold. 15 will do. Hasn't got it. Absolutely nothing to worry about. He's, well. Uh, Williams still nearly in the 300s, but that's a good dart. Another treble would leave a finish. 
and he has it another. A little bit of pressure on now. Tops now. Double ten. Gets it. Seventeen dart start, not bad there at all. Eighty-eight average for the first first leg. So yeah. See Willett sixty-eight. Even though he had an absolutely disastrous first couple of visits, That's quite good. But then that proved he he has settled quite a bit. But Reese Colley has really settled. One hundred. I think we should have switched up to that second dart. The second dart trailed really low under the treble. Yeah. And given that there was a guide on the right hand side, yeah. should have gotten to the treble night in yeah. there. 134. Great visit there. One in. Can't quite get the second. 100. The first dart has been really good, but he hasn't really been able to follow it so far. Well, he is following in this leg. I mean. I do get that start on the uh, treble 18s because if you fill the second one in, you can switch to the treble 20 and leave a 140 finish. And that is yes. a finish that is very favourable to winners. Yes, um, but it doesn't really matter when your opponent is just smashing in some plus scores like it's nothing. Already on a, what, 1-6-1 one one finish after 9 darts? Yes, he's on for a 12 dart if possible if this 1-6-1 goes. It's not, it's not gonna, gonna go. happen. Need to travel. Well, that's just let William back in now. This would be, goodness me, I doubt the roof would be to stay on if he got this. Not going to happen. Need to travel. Hasn't quite got it. So this this leg is still in anyone's hands. Right. Well, after both being on one six one, they're still on three darters. That's just after four scores for each. That's a bad deflection. Need to. Not quite. <coughs> well, favourable route here is four nineteens and a bull or six nineteens for double six. Take your pick. He wants another one. Trouble nineteen and it's oh, seven. Big seven. Great leave though to leave tops, but Reese Colley now sixty. Under all pressure here. Oh, oh and you could see there with that dart. Tops. Needs tops. I think he'll give it beans if he gets this. Give Didn't it so. There could be a bit of a shout from the right hand side to us if William gets this tops. Nails there it. There it is. <laughs> good recovery after that first leg. There definitely was a roll from the right hand side. Yes, yeah, so good recovery from that first leg. It wasn't great. And that was a decent leg to recover. 100. Decent turn there to try and his advantage of throwing first. You know the most satisfying thing about darts is when there's two darts under the treble and he manages to sneak it in the treble with the last dart. That is the most satisfying thing I'm telling you. Yes. I think the most satisfying thing is hitting a double last dart in hand. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that's one of the most satisfying things. I wonder where I get that feeling from, Callum. Ah. <laughs> now we're all friends here. Yeah, it's we're good all to be friends. even here in the first place. Hold on. And that's, and that's the first maximum. maximum. That is the first maximum of the men's match. Oh, hello. Oh, nearly oh. another. Nearly a second consecutive. And even We're not more importantly, Reese is on the finish first before William. Yes. But the thing is, William could leave a two data here. You can hear the sound of tungsten silence. 619 is not going to go. Treble 15. I think that's in the treble. Yeah, it is in the treble, just in the corner. Yeah, treble 15 now would leave treble tops. 19 maybe. Nah, it's in treble 2. 85. 79 is left. Kirkwood will need nearly one to it. He nearly pinged tops with a 79 in the first leg, but had three darts in it for the attempt after. And it may uh, not even get a chance. It's, it's double on to ten. double 10. Oh, oh my word. That could not have been much closer. You saw the, you saw the way it moved. Yes. 79 now. You this think he'd have to get the treble. Seems like a must start. take. Double 11. 
Yes, he's oh, got it. Done. He's got it. And it is 2-1 in favour of Reese Colley in this best of seven match. You know, to do that under the pressure, after your do um, opponent's just missed it off for a 1-2-8 out, to yes. take that out at two dots is just ridiculous. 81. It's a decent start. Could have been better, but after the five, he'll take it. Needs another. 60. Hasn't really got the best start, so... Chance. Well, I mean, Reese is no stranger to winning. I mean, yes. given the fact that he won the British Open just to be here and this England team is... He's no stranger to winning, as told by the 2-1 lead. Yes, and he's playing decently as well, averaging 90.8. And Will Kirkwood, he's brought his average up to 87. Correct me if I'm wrong, but this game has gone with the throw, the whole leg, yes. the whole match. Yep. That could be pivotal. That could be what uh, would win Reese this game, because he has the throw at the start of this. But then now, he's proven his credentials to try and break and make it 3-1. 19 would be the shot here for Will. That's just over the wire. That ball for just over. 95. Good last start. Gets him to within arm's length of Reese Colley again. I don't know if any of them are in. They, they weren't in. They weren't in. So now Will has got his throw back and could leave a two dart off to await. Maybe even a single dart. dart. Maybe even a single dart if this goes in. Another max on. Yes, Brilliant. it is. Maximum. It is another max. The second of the match for Will Kirkwood of Scotland. That's fantastic. Completely capitalised on Reese's inability to, to travel to leave a finish. And now he has double 14. Three clear darts to go back level at two oh, all. Possible 16 dart as well. This would get his average to near 90 again. That's just night. wide. It's not the best guy because he... He plays to the left. It's not the best guard. It's more of a block. Oh, and that no. proved that dart. That oh. proved. England, you require 123. That proof of that dart. Slacker start of the match so far. This would raise the roof if this went in. Treble 18. I found so. 86 left. Treble 18. Would leave him double 16 here. 55. I'd go 9 here. Oh, well, he tried it, but he's left one double one now. Yeah, but that's the thing, though. If you try to go for the one and miss yes. 2018, you bust it, you just go immediately. Yes. But it is double one. And he's oh, put missed he's it. just inside. I don't know if he'll go that way again now, because he's hit the double one completely. Oh, that's double 12. My favourite. Oh, and it's just, just gone Last high. Last chance you would think you're now for... Yeah, it, what look what was looking like a good leg a is now a very scrappy leg for a 24 dart holder throw. Br Get it! Get it! Last dart when your opponent is on double 12 to break. That is a huge hold for Will Kirkwood and gives him a real fighting chance in this match. Race now, looking for another max. That of it is first of the third of the match, but it wasn't. That's a bad start. He's basically given Reese a five dart lead. On, yeah, it's a another one powering on, powering on now. Yeah. Catalyzing very well off that mistake, but. Uh, Essentially got a two visit lead now. 58. Well, Will Kirkwood still in the 400s after six darts. Reese could be on a finish after nine. Two darts, I mean. He could be on a two dart, yeah, if this goes in. And it has! 140, 140, 135 to leave. 86 after nine. What a leg. Even after a decent visit. 12 dart will do. 
shouldn't really stay at the 18s because he does have potentially nine he darts at 86 now. Yeah, yeah he's done the right thing. Now. Did the right thing there. Leaving 32 after 12 darts. That's a good dart there for Will. Light stay there as well. Oh, I don't switched. know why he did that. I don't know why he did that. I don't know either because that seemed like the perfect guide for another one. But e Easy chance to get a 162 wasted, I think. Double an 8 for a 14 dart leg. He needs to move. He's that got it! Brilliant, brilliant knock in. Rhys Colley. For the guide, he's now one leg off the match. But the story of this match is that every leg has gone with the throw. So it could be looking at a last leg decider. Should Will keep his head up and keep on powering in the treble? Yeah, there was no, not much he could do in that leg. Absolutely not. 60. Yeah, with him being down to a finish after Na nine, nine darts. Yes. And on for an 11. Yeah, essentially eight darts because he because he left one four six after the two dart after two darts in visit three. Yeah. So you could see he was down to finish after eight. That's what a perfect a dart. dart. What a guide as well. He'll be disappointed with that. It's not in. Oh no. That should easily have been well, at least a ton forty from that guide. Shame it was only an eighty five. But that a is a dart. loads of space on the right of that bed as well, and he's filling up. He's got it. That's the third one into the match, and Reese Colley's first in the England shirt. That is, what, his third maximum of this match? No, the third maximum. The third maximum yes. of the match. <laughs> yeah, Will's had two, Reese has now had one. Oh, slipping the five there. And that's going to have to be a switcher. Great dart. 82. Not on a finish just yet, but uh, Will could leave a comfy three data. Nah, not, not so now. now. Not so now. Needs to leave it. Needs to leave it. Nah, he, he won't. That's a disaster. Disaster. I think that mean that dart into the three means that his head's gone and he's practically handed the match on a plate over to Reese Colley. <laughs> <laughs> That's not a good. I think he was caught in two minds whether to go for eighteens or twenties there. I think I saw his head move. 19s would be the shot here, but he's staying at 20s. Don't well, know why he's done that. I say he stay at the 20s. I oh, switch to the 5. He hasn't. He's still in the 200s. Still in the 200s range. And Reece 15, that's my Reece 19. Car. Not so. 60 left when he comes back. 53. He's got that wrong. 53 again. That's a no, good. That is, but... Uh, He's got to put the pressure on Reese now Needs if he wants to that. take this leg and this match. He went aggressive. <laughs> he went aggressive. Shake the head because he knows Reese will have two darts for the match at tops. Double ten. His first win in England. Oh, he's just he's wide. It. Just wide. Just wide. And William. Are we it's looking at the last leg decider? Treble ten. He went 14. 14. He Another one of them would leave tops. Tops now. Big dart. Biggest dart of the match by far. Oh, oh he's, he's just, just dragged it. More. So, Reese Colley is back in to get England their first point in this men's match between England and Scotland. Double ten. Perfect guide. It's there. He and gets a it. Brilliant win. On his debut, Reese Colley takes the 4 2 win over William Kirkwood of Scotland. And
Thank you. Yep. Right, welcome back to the 2023 British Internationals here at the Golden Palm Resort. We are about to see the men's... We are about to watch the England captain in action, James Hurrell, take on Colin Miller of Scotland. And I'm... I am joined by a man called Mark. Mark from Warwickshire. Hello, and uh, who are you here supporting, Mark? I'm here supporting England and the uh, Warwickshire boys. Obviously, uh, Noel Grant and Jamie Atkins. And we, we also have a couple of youngsters, uh, Hannah Meek and Jensen Walker. Yeah, they performed really well, uh, didn't they, yesterday and today? Oh, they did, yeah, yeah. Hannah was really unlucky. Oh, Hannah, Hannah lost yesterday but won today. And I think Jensen won both of his games, which was fantastic. Yeah, and now here we've got the uh, England captain in action, James Horrell. Now, uh, he... Uh, 121. He plays for uh, Buckinghamshire, I believe, and... He's 30, 38, and he's the current captain, has been since last year, and he's done really well. Because Fantastic player, fantastic yeah, player. Yeah, because a few years ago he suffered with uh, health issues, but ever since that he's overcome them and he's come back stronger and better than ever, and look where he is now. He's one of the top players in the WDF in the rankings, and look here. 140! And, and scoring really well. Yep. And as we come to his opponent, Colin Miller, he is a Fife County player. And I don't know how many times he's played at the British Internationals, but he's one of their regular players. And it's obviously a good one because he's keeping in touch with James Hurrell in this first leg of this match. It is Colin Miller, first to the finish, albeit a big one. He's not going to take it out now. He'll come downstairs it. No. Treble 18 now. No, he stayed there. Decided to leave double That's nine. That's not a bad finish. But I, th I, I still think James will be there now. Well, it's treble 14 for double 16. For a break of throw, this is as well. Go on, James. A bit of a celebration there from Hurrell oh, as he hit good. that double. That's good. Now he's got the advantage. And now has a chance to get a hold of throw and double his advantage to that break. He's coming down here after that first start. 119. Excellent cover shot there. One hundred and forty. It's a good game though, isn't it? Ex hey, they, these boys. They, this is why these boys are on the stage. Exactly. Excellent there from Miller. Hurrell coming back here. Fantastic darts. Fantastic darts, that is. The England captain producing a 180 there, which we all love to see. I think if James can hit a, a ton plus here, he'll be he'll be massive massive favourite. He wants to stay on the twenties here, he's moving across. He's hunting that treble. 60. Steady. Steady darts. He's on the finish first, 142. Now Miller, 140 minimum required here. If he can find two treble 20s, there's one of them. 100. Not quite two. You require 142. So six, six darts to win there. Yep. Now, uh, if he is for treble 20, he... 
Oh, that's mm. not going to happen now. Why would? That's better. Treble 19 to leave double 10 now. Or will he go treble 15 to leave double 16? Cause 65, that's 77, isn't it? Oh, treble 19, I, I fancy. Yeah, he's going down for that. Uh, it's still good. It's still good. It's two darts. Miller needs to pressure this. Back on 201. But that five doesn't help. 85. Now then, James, in we go. Two darts. Two darts are taken out. So it will be 18. And double top for Hillbilly. For 2 0. Superb darts. Superb. And that, from James Hurrell, is a 2 0 lead. If he can win this match and make it 2 0 to England over Scotland in the men's, they'll have a great advantage early on in this match. Of course, last year England did a clean sweep, which was fantastic. 59. But the, the teams are a lot stronger this year. Oh, definitely. They really are. Oh, definitely. They really yeah. are. It's proved it the last day or so. Steady cover shot, although the advantage of throw is with Colin Miller. Sixty. So James now he he just needs to power in there. If he hits a one eighty, he won't leave a finish. It will leave him on one six six, but it's going to pressure this here's throw. The, here's, here's the darts. Here's the darts. One Good darts. That is. That's great darts. Pressuring the Scotland throw here. So same as before now. Six darts. Six darts to win. Just set it up, James. That is a good marker for a treble, or Ooh. not that one. So close. 43. That was not a very bit of good a slip. Not a good count, actually. He should have gone down to the 19s to leave on 6 4, but instead he's left on a bogey number. This isn't good, though. So same as I said before, six darts now to win this leg. Well, Miller is first of the finish, one three nine. But if Hurrell can oh no one three nine, sorry. If Hurrell can leave himself on a good finish here, he'll come down for the treble seventeen here. One hundred and thirty one. Superb darts, superb darts. Treble twenty. One small chance. He'll want 99 here to leave tops if he can. I think that's gone in the seven though. 47. England, you require 32. So James now, press the, press the button. Press the button, James. Double eight for another break of throw and a 3 nil lead. Oh. 24. Not the best there. Not the best. It might have been nerves, I don't know. But either way, 92 now for Miller to hold his throw here. He's got the treble, double 16. Wow. Wow. That's all about darts, isn't it? All about darts. Exactly. We've got a game on here, both players on the scoreboard, but James straight into the treble there. 140. 
Great darts, that is. Great darts on the throw. That's a great One reply. That's a great reply after a first start that was woeful. Little dropsy there from Hurrell. Don't know how that will affect him as he throws his last dart here on this visit. Ah, oh, great dart. Good it, last dart. It didn't affect Very him. Very good last dart. Didn't affect him at all as he dropped that. This is a time now for James to just press on. Come on. Straight turn would leave him 161. Unfortunate that is. Miller is on 3-2-2. Needs to hit big here. And that Needs is a, a maximum minimum, doesn't he? Yeah, that's a good start, but not with the second. 81. Now it's time to set it up. Set it up. It could come down for the 25 here, probably. Or will he stay up there? He's, he's going for the ball. 86. Slap of the hands there as he uh, goes into the six, but he leaves 115, which can be gettable. They need a big score here. They need it. They need a big score, or it's over. 60. Now then, James, Maybe come on. Six starts from 115 for Hurrell. He can still finish if he hits the treble, but if he does... Does he need this? Does he, yeah, well, he, oh, I think he'll set this up. It's not there, so treble 18 on the ball. He's went for ball there. That's okay. That's a, uh, that's a good leave. That is a good leave. Although he's a bit disgusted by that last start, I should think, the way it went in there. If Miller hits a big score here, then there's pressure on Hurrell to hold his throw. 45. Now then, come on. Three darts. 80. Three darts, James. Now Use them all. Treble 20. 20. Oh, He's gone into the unbelievable. one. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Unlucky to stray into the one there. But Set Miller, up. Miller has got a big check out to do here. 40. It's a big check this out. This is big. Yeah, big one to work with here for Miller. It's now not it's not big. He's staying on the 20s. It will try and leave double 18 here if he can. But doesn't. 16. Right then, James. Time to go to work, son. This for a 3-1 lead for Hurrell. Double 10. Double 5. Oh, pressure's massive. Pressure is massive. Now, Colin Miller could get one dart minimum at tops here. Two at double eight, perhaps. He'll go 16. One at tops. This is for a break of throw. And for two all. Ooh. 36. One big single number now. That's all we need. One big single number, then one double. Will he go three or one here? I think a one. No, he's going. F he's going down here. Three for double oh, one. Oh, you're right. Needs to come down. Oh, yeah. And now a real chance for Colin Miller to break the throat and make it two all in this game. Great marker. On the wire. Oh, there we go. Double ten. One dart. 
Oh, pressure's on. Wrong side of a wrong side of a wire. England, you require two. Now James Hurrell is in the madhouse here. He needs James, to be careful. One dart. He one dart. He needs to be careful not to come inside here. Wow. That's a long way off. Wow. So is that. <laughs> wow, hey. The pressure on darts, isn't it? That was pressure. Double ten now for Miller. He should hit this. Double five now. Stay above. Oh He's my coming, word! He's come inside when he didn't need to. Oh my word! That first, that first dart's got to go above, hasn't it? Yo, oh, and then James. Bit of emotion there as well. The boy was there. It meant a lot to Hurrell to get that leg. This is England's captain. He wants to win. Exactly. It means a lot to Hurrell. Colin Miller straight into the treble there. That's good darts. Good darts, that is. Good darts. He doesn't want to let this get away from him. Mm, well, what has that last leg done to Hurrell? 22. Scrambled head. Scrambled head there, I think. That last leg might have messed his head up a little bit, I should think. But Colin Miller once again straight into the treble. 140. That's great darts again. It's a good start on his own throw. Me personally, I think James should just set himself for the next leg when he's got the darts yeah he seems to be having a he's having a day off a day off he's having a bit of a stinker of a leg in this one i think that last leg hurt him a little bit despite getting it well uh, this is a good leg by the scott he's uh throwing really well here now and once again, another single one from James Hurrell. 81. Good follow-up. Get your eye in for the next leg, I think. But Miller is on 1-2-1 one, one after nine darts. He's staying up there. He'll leave double top here. 81. Ah, this is a very, very, very steady leg from the Scottish boy. I think James Hall was probably thinking about the next leg where it's on his own throw and This is it. Let your let let your arm go loose. Just just practice now and just get your eye in. Exactly. But he's found that treble twenty again and drops the dart again. Double top for Colin Miller for three two. Mm. Double ten. Oh, now nah, then. If James can James set this up. If he can hit two trebles, he'll leave a finish. But but again into the one again. That doesn't help things. He's got plenty of time here as Colin Miller. So now then James, James, time to kick on now. Find the red bit, find the red bit and just blast it on mate. Blast it on James, come on. He does not want to repeat of the last leg where he started with a single one. Ah, oh, steady darts. That's so unlucky. That was that was so close to a hundred. All three of them were right on the wire of that treble there. But Colin Miller hits the treble one. Forty-three. Right, James. Time to time to press on now. Take the advantage now. Come on, son. Try and remain neutral and. Size, 
Steady darts, that is. Indeed, keeps him in front in this penultimate leg of this game. That's a straight. That's a straight throw as well from the Scots boy. But the advantage is with Hurrell currently. He wants another one here. Steady hundreds will do it. Steady hundreds will do it. Exactly, the consistency is in this leg. Now Miller firing back in with the treble. That's a good reply. Good reply as well. We're all coming down, hunting a treble 19 here. 96. Good cover shot that is. Very good cover shot. It leaves him 145 when he comes back. Colin Miller's not going to get onto a finish here, so there'll be six starts. Oh, that is so close. Every treble, every treble, but not the one he wanted. Now, one four five. He's got six starts here, James Hurrell, so he can relax, take his time, set it up nicely. Sixty five. Must steady dart sign. Leaves himself eighty. I think we need two troubles here. Minimum. But that's not gonna happen. So oh, now James, six, six that to take the match. Treble 20. Single 20. And that leaves Lipstick. double. That leaves double top. Oh, here we go. But then again, he's still got time on his side with Miller not on a finish yet. It's a good start though, this is. This is pressure darts. Superb darts. Good darts, that is. Now this is to take the match for the England captain, James Horrell. Double top. Always wow. pulled it low, so double ten now. He needs to be careful here. Wow. This is this picture. More match darts go big Two in. Two darts. Two darts to take it the distance. Treble 19. He leaves double 11 to take it all the way. What a game that is. What a game of darts that was. Ladies and gentlemen, seventh and final leg is Scotland to throw first. Game on. Now the pressure's on James. It was in his hands, now it's not. The advantage is now with Colin Miller with the throw. Mm, three straight darts, that is. Now, if James Hurrell can hit a steady treble or two, that is a nice marker for it. 60. And Hurrell replies with only 60. This could be a nervy last leg in this second game of England versus Scotland. This Miller is massive. In the treble with that second one's hanging precariously. That's very good darts. Very good darts at this stage. Hurrell needs to match that. In he is. In the red. Wow. He did not need that single one. We're in the vicinity. We're still there. Forty-three. But that is a Two loose. Two trebles. Two trebles for James. Now it, this will be a game. That was a loose visit from Miller in that last one. 
needs another one here, surely. One That's still steady darts. The yeah. pressure's still there. It still keeps him in touch. One point the difference after seven legs. Six legs, sorry. Nah, there's a big there's a big chance now. This is, this is James's chance. Bit of frustration coming in there from Miller. And this is a good chance for Hurrell. And there's a great start. One more red bit. One more red bit and there, there will be a chance. Steady Tom would leave him on 60. Superb. Absolute superb dart that is. So Hurrell will be first to the finish with Shanghai. What can Miller leave here? That is a great start. Oh. This is a proper game. This is a proper game of darts. Three now, darts to take it. Now Shanghai needs the trouble. He's got the singles. Just below. Oh, so close. What good darts. So this is the chance. Two darts to win it. He could get one at tops here. It will be two at double twelve. Two at double twelve. For Colin Miller. Double six. What a game. What a game of darts that was. What a game of darts. And well deserved by the Scottish lad. He played two.
Hello and welcome once again to the 2023 British Internationals of the Golden Palm Resort in Chapel St Leonard's near Skegness. Our third match here of Scotland versus England in the men's sees England's Martin Atkins taking on Scotland's Scott Campbell. And I am joined by Callum Bedo once again. Hello Callum. Hello Mason, how are you doing? Good thanks and this is very steady progress we're having here. It's great matches in prospect. Yeah, it was great viewing watching that but as someone who is part of the England team it wasn't that fun to watch near the end that. Yeah, I'd say, yeah, I understand what you mean. Yeah, I'd say James felt, felt a bit of nerves there as the England captain and still you to win. Still, you've got to be proud of his efforts though because as the England men's captain he would have played up there with pride. Yeah. This is... Now Martin Atkins, he plays his dance for Lancashire. He's the 2017 Antwerp Masters champion. That's his only. That's his only uh, ranking event, as far as I know, from the old BDO. But this year he did really well because he reached the final of the Scottish Open, losing to Jordan Brooks, and reached the Isle of Man Classic final, losing to the sensation that is Luke Littler. But yes. it's been a good start to the year for. Tover, as he's nicknamed, yes. Tover Martin Atkins. He's also been on the PDC tour as well. Uh, he's hit a couple. Of, I think he's hit a nine darter in uh, the PDC tour before as well. I think Danny Noffer and himself hit, hit nine darts in the same match, if I'm not mistaken. And we come to Scott Campbell. He plays darts for Grampian in Scotland. And he hopefully won't be grumpy by the end of this. Yep. His best achievement representing Scotland at the 2022 Europe Cup last year. That yeah. was his best achievement as I've looked up here. 100. He may have had a few more and that we aren't seeing in there. Who knows? Once again, another left-hander as well. Yeah, we've, in Scotland have quite a few left-handers. We've had Will Kirkwood earlier and now England Scott Campbell. Now... For double top for the first leg and a hold a throw. 62. He'll have wanted to get that because with the quality of these players, nothing's guaranteed and this 154 could well go. It's not going to. Double ten for Martin Atkins for the first leg. Double five. That is a great marker. Ten. But he can't hit it. 56 now for Scott Campbell of Scotland. That's not a great dart. Need. He's let Martin Atkins back. He cannot come inside on this second one. Yeah. Oh, he uses it anyway. That was a brilliant left leg, but he has nailed but nailed the shot at double, and it is one nil. Have you ever wondered wh why the reason he has the nickname Tuva, which is a sort of Yorkshire or Northern speak for the other? Yeah. That's because there is another Martin Atkins who yes. used to play for England for years. From Yorkshire there is another Martin Atkins, although he's gone off the radar a little bit now. Yeah, he's played in the in the lakeside a couple of times, I'm pretty well, sure. He, he actually played a few more times than that. Last time, 2017, where he lost to Jamie Hughes in the first round. Good bit of info. Yeah, but, but Martin Atkins of Yorkshire, if you are watching this, we hope you are enjoying our coverage and hopefully we can see you again in the future. In fact, uh, both 
Yorkshire and Lancashire's Martin Atkins. They both played in 2019 at the British Internationals when they were up in Scotland. 41. I mentioned that. And he would like another treble. Oh, that's not ideal. Ideal. Still, it keeps him a touch in front here, only by 10. Campbell will be to the finish, 160, and he returns. Minimum. Not what he needed. Left to finish. Treble 20. Another one of them. Or will he go treble 18? He's got it. And he has double 15 from Yes! A massive 150 finish! I think it's the highest of the weekend so far. A 150 finish from Martin Atkins of Wigan to take a 2 0 lead. Absolutely glorious from Atkins there. And to break the throw as well. And he's straight back in that treble. Glorious is one of Mason's favourite words. He used it all the time. But to be honest, that was absolutely glorious. Exactly. It's a great finish under the pressure. It hasn't seemed to rattle Scott Campbell though. He, I, I bet he's raging inside after that. Yeah. Hasn't seemed to rattle him though in terms of his next visit. He's put in a 1-2-3. And he has a slight advantage in this leg. Even though the advantage of throw is with Martin Atkins. 96. Yeah. yeah, he's had two good visits. Martin's had an average visit and a good visit. And this is a bad visit. Unless he doesn't get a treble. Oh, no, not that one. Not that treble. That's a good dart. He should follow that and make it. Well, he did follow it. He just deflected away. And the only shame about that is that he hasn't left to finish. And if I want it, he goes in here. It'll feel like a, a dagger to the heart. But that won't happen now. Yeah, it doesn't really matter now because he can just set this up without the temptation for going for something silly like double 19 or something. I can't really tell where that is. That's in the treble 7. He's staying downstairs. Trying to leave double 12. And he ha hasn't. He leaves a uh, straight ton. I thought they were both in there. I thought for certain that they were both in. That is a great start for Martin. Another one would really help. Great. Great. Martin. And Scott Campbell takes his first leg of this match. An excellent sun check out there from Scott Campbell, and he breaks straight back in this mate. In this match, Great first start. should follow it. Oh, that's unlucky. One hundred. Overall, some decent starts, but unfortunately, it just didn't go in the top. 
Martin Atkins needs to hit big here if he wants to hold his throw and win the game here. 100. My apologies, he's actually against the darts. Score ball properly. What do you hear for Campbell? Only 44 from Campbell, so a good chance here for Atkins. Needs a, a treble or two here. 60. But he can't find it. Still won't be on a finish. Now, if Campbell can stay straight, he should get himself onto a decent check out here. He's coming downstairs. He's thinking about it. He is thinking about it. I think he's... Yeah. It leaves a nice straight finish. Without yeah, it leaves 160. Martin back on 182. But another treble would leave him handy here. It's a ton. We have seen a 150. Seen a 100, would it be a plus checkout? It won't. Is coming to the 18s here. 120! I'm going to require 82. To break that back. big number. Getting that big number, it always is a. The double. It's a big moment. Big moment already. Yes. The left hand of Scotland. And the fourth leg. Scotland. A quick reminder for it's now best of seven legs. The first four wins. After this match, it will be three down and nine to go. Now the next match is going to be Scott Robertson versus Paul Milford. Yes, he replaces uh, Justin. Yeah. Yes, that's what I was told. And seven hours to get here. I've been to Devon before once on a holiday, and it's a nice little county. Uh, I haven't. 83. And it's not worth it. It's always worth it if you want a lovely holiday. <laughs> anyway. I I don't know why he went down after that first start. That was. Fill it up. That is the first maximum of this batch, and what a time to get it. Martin firing straight back here. Will he have a 180 of his own? Almost. Will he start down on the treble 19s here? I think he is. Yes, he is. Two treble 19s would have left him double 12. 94. He went for treble 18, leave double 4. But he may not even get a chance at the 44 he's left. 119. 60 in tops. No. 
And he hasn't left at the best either. You can hear the Scotland supporters this is willing a, this 44 in. This is a real chance for Scott Campbell to break through and go within one of the match here. He'll go four. No, he's looking for a 12. Double 16 for 3 2. And he gets it! That's a break of four, and it is three to in favour of Scott Campbell. And maybe, maybe, just maybe, Scotland could be taking the advantage. Martin Atkins went 2 0 up, and now he finds himself 3 2 down and against the throw here. He's got a tough task on his hands here. Yeah, ever since that 150, Scott Campbell has just turned up to another gear. 60. Yeah, a quick reminder, six sets will guarantee a draw for the team and seven sets will guarantee a win, but you just want to get as many points as you possibly can. Great visit, just going between the two darts and getting into the treble 20 again with regularity. 100. Just a ton there. Martin Atkins will not go away here still. It's not over yet till the last dart is thrown. 60. Needs to hit big here, Martin. And got any. Big chance now for Scott Campbell to take this point for Scotland and take the lead. That's one in. Can't quite get a second. He may switch. He's going for the ball. He's left 1 3 6 when he comes back. Martin Atkins needs two trebles. Simple as that. He needs two of these darts. He ain't getting. So, so it will be six darts with one three six. Or could he? Could he just have three? No. It will be six, but he's going to try and set it up. Trouble night. He's moving in front of the camera until he's. It was only 58. Yes. So. Yeah, he didn't have any of the troubles that he needed, and Mark. One hundred and sixty-four. Sixty-four. I'm pretty sure that was one hundred and sixty-eight. Meanwhile, seventy-four left now. He tried to go double 17, double top, but it didn't work out for him. And it was 168. There we are. A, a mistake there, but uh, that can be rectified. I believe Martin I believe. Yeah, he did leave double eight after that trouble 16. This is for three all and a break of throw. Got it. And it is a last leg decider to see who goes it. This is big. Yep. Dart. Can he fill it? He can! He can Absolutely brilliant stuff from Martin Atkins in the siding leg. Scott this following on. Either. Just a ton. And now, maybe it's like four for nine data to win it. Who knows? It's on, you know. Oh, it's not. 100. 
100. The rain when Stanley come, cl come close to a nine dart yesterday. Going away, he is not going away at all. Still, the advantage of throw is with Martin Atkins here in this last leg. He goes downstairs, that's a great treble. He finds himself on 87 after 9. It's a bit loose as well. It's he only three points though, so he needs, may just needs to be careful there. here. Oh, that is perfect! Can't get better after us. such a loose first start. He could, he could get a dart at bull here or double five. It's the bull. It's the bull for the match. Sixty-two. Oh. Apologies about that. Apologies about that with the camera. Now one three eight. He'll start down at the treble nineteens like he did one of the other legs. No, he's staying up. He's got the treble, treble 18, or will he stay there? Oh! oh it fell out! That was very it's unlucky. It fell out! Very and unlucky. You could see the pain it's inflicted on him. Very unlucky there, but he needs to set this up here well. It'll go treble 18 here now. 140. That is just purely bad luck. 25. And now Martin Atkins will get two darts at double eight to take the game here and make it 2-1 in England's favour. Double four. Game. He's done it! And it knocks it! Two one. A fantastic match there to watch.
Again, as we carry on here with the 2023 British Internationals, it's time for Paul Milford versus Scott Robertson in this England versus Scotland men's game. Our fourth match out of 12 in this one. And as usual, once again, I'm joined by Callum Bedo. Hi, Mason. It's been a nice little start to this match, hasn't it, with England versus Scotland? Very, very tense as well, especially in the last two matches. Overall, so far in this game, we've had six 180s in, in the space of 20 legs. Well, maybe this could be a n number seven. No. Paul Milford, of course, the late replacement for Justin Hood, who had to withdraw from the team. Um, he came all the way down from Devon, and he came with a couple of days before the ceremony yesterday. Uh, he came just in time. And it's, fa it's fantastic he can be here today and to help fill the vacancy. Started well as well. Yeah, he of course he plays his dance for Devon and he debuted at the 2019 British Internationals as well in Scotland. Yeah, he's had a decent start as well. 60. And we come to... Scott Robertson here. 100. He plays his darts for Grampian. And he comes from Aberdeen. Easy one. All the way up north. And that single one at the last start. That hasn't helped him at all because that's left him on a bogey number. 100. He's left 165 and he needs. in this men's match. Tops. Yeah, Gets it! A great 15 dart leg to start this match. Takes the team average overall to 82 and a half. And he takes an early break of throw in this match, Paul Milford. Such an amazing an amazing action a throw of Paul Milford's, isn't I'm, it? Honestly, yeah, I not a very I'm absolutely mesmerised. Not, not not much of a follow through, but he always he always just leaves the arm oh, and just walks it. Yeah, it's not like. not a lot of movement in his arm. Nice and steady. Why is it so many Rock solid at the hockey there. Yeah, he's averaging around about a hundred right now. I know we're only a leg and a half in, but this could be a massive average for the late replacement from Devon. Scott Robertson has a little bit more experience in this than Paul, but uh, I don't think that will matter too much as it comes down to who can win their game at the end of the day. He's going to get about six darts here from 102. 100. Yeah, guaranteed six darts, maybe nine. 102 go on. It's on, you know. It'll 10, go. 6 or 2. It'll go Take 10. Pick, double 16 for another big finish. 86. I thought he was going to go 2 for double tops. 
but I, uh, what do we know, eh? That's why you say all the options. 85. He's going for a bolt to leave 100, but it's still a straight finish if he doesn't get this. And that is a great dart. Current average of 96.97. And right now, he's absolutely pummeling Scott Robertson. Fifteen dart and a sixteen dart in a row, and it's not really been much. That's it's an absolute barnstorming. Sixty. Only sixty there. You'd feel he was quite unlucky on the hit sixty. He needs a travel. 60. Doesn't get one. That allows Paul Milford in. That's not a very good dart. Neither's that. 27. That is not helpful. 67. That's a good dart. Great visit overall, and he doesn't leave a finish like a 180 would have, but it's still very good. 100. This is on the Scott Robertson throw, so he's got a nice little advantage to try and take the third leg. I think he's got a five dart lead overall, and it could extend with that brilliant visit. Yeah, great bullseye there to leave him 71 when he returns. Yeah, he's got around a six dart lead now. He had a three dart lead immediately, and he's already... I think it's even more than six dart lead right now. 71. 18 for tops. Tops now for his first leg. Dead centre. Dead centre of the tops. And it is 2-1 in favour of England. In both the set and the legs column at the hangabout. Is this a 180? Nearly. Nearly. Milford coming straight back there. On his own throw this time. He'd like a travel. He'd really like a travel. 60. This leg is in the hands of Paul Mill. The late replacement. A savage bounce out there. 77. And that forced him to switch. And the switch paid off there. Yeah, it does. It bad in the mind if. One hundred. One hundred. Keeping straight there leaves a one thirty check out when he comes back. And if Robertson hits a ton here, leave himself on a finish, you'll feel that Milford will have to go down that ball route. Oh, what a dart! What a dart! 130 now. It's so on. He has to go the ball route because Bulls Scott's on, on the finish. Oh! That was not far off. And now this, this would, would be a this roof would, raising finish. Yeah, this would raise the roof, definitely. Is that in? No, it's not. It's not going to happen now. Eighty. I want you to buy up twenty-five. Nine or one or five. 
Take your pick. He goes nine for double eight for a three one lead. Yeah, perfect. And a ball play England. That was perfect. Seventeen darts. And he's looking likely to take the win in what has been a very good display from Paul Melford. It's not over yet though, because Robertson's on his own throw and he's to try and get all the legs now. One hundred. That's a good dart. Should follow that. Right. One hundred. Only a ton. He would have expected more. You'd expect them more after that first start. Level pegging so far in this. I know he would have expected more, because I would have expected more from that position. 140! That's a great vi- yeah. yeah, fifth leg out of a possible seven. 59. This may be the last one of this match, if this goes away. Of Paul Melford. Averaging near the 90 mark for this 100. match. Can't get the exact average up, but I know it's going to be close to that. 60. That's a very unlucky 60. That's really unlucky. A 161. It's not doable now. He's left himself 120, and if Paul Milford can pressure it, he has. It'll feel like a must take, but he won't 60. do that. This hasn't Don't been hasn't Paul's best leg. Hasn't been his best leg for Milford. Just make sure you don't hit the treble again. That's all you want. He's made sure of it. He's going to move around again and hit the tops. Bang! Couldn't get more to our central. Could not get much more central than that. Brilliant. A nice Shanghai finish there for Scott Robertson. Sixty. And it may put Paul Milford un under some pressure. You could be right. It's only sixty to go off, and if Robertson hits a treble straight away like he's done yes. now, this could get interesting. What's he gone for? One hundred and twenty. He's went downstairs. He hit I a single. don't know why he did that. I honestly don't know why he did that. But Milford's firing back here. And that's maximum of the match! At a crucial time! He'd love another. He may get another. Okay, he's not. 97. 97 scored, which leaves 164. It is gettable. Two trouble 19 is a bull, possibly, but he may not go for it. Robertson needs another here to leave himself on a fire. He has to go for it now. He has to go for it now. Unless he'll make an MVG of himself and go for a big 18, but he won't get the chance to. 100. So would you require 141? 141. This is to save the match for Scott Robertson. It's not there, so... It's unlucky. 89. I was saying nothing because I didn't... I couldn't... Did I not? Match starts coming in for Paul Milford. It could be one, it could be two. He'll start down at the eights or sixteen. Missed here. big numbers. It could be zero. Who knows? He's hit the big number. Double sixteen for the match. Oh, and it's forty-six. It went next door. He didn't want that. So you buy and now to send us all the way. He will go twenty for double sixteen to break throw and take it all the way. Left. This has to go. Has to go. Oh, and it's just outside. Oh, 
You can't get any closer. Now this is an awkward double for Paul. If he misses outside, he may he... split it. Who knows? Now he's going straight at it. Oh, and it went inside. He needs it a big number now. It's dead center. Double four. He gets it. Paul Milford takes the fourth set, and it makes it three-one. We carry on with the 2023 British Internationals. Next game features Noel Grant of England taking on Dean Carr of Scotland. And I am joined by a man called Jack Waring. Hello, Jack. Hi, you're right, mate. How's it going? Fine, thank you. Good this good. has been a, a fantastic weekend so far, wouldn't you agree? Yeah, oh yeah, smashing, yeah. Qu quality darts, yeah. Yeah, now Noel Grant, this is his debut. He's... 
41 years old. He's the oldest player on the team right now. He plays for Warwickshire. And you know a little bit about him, don't you? Oh, just a little bit, yeah. He, uh, um, he's he been a top player for a long time. And um, this has been a long time coming, I think, personally. But, um, yeah. And he's nicknamed the General, the am general. I right? Yeah, you are right, mate. Yeah, the General, yeah. And his opponent, Dean Carr, he plays his darts for Fife, and this is, I believe, his second year playing for Scotland. So, pretty interesting match. Yeah, I don't, I don't know much about Dean, but um, I've heard about him in the past. But uh, yeah, we'll see. Um, we'll see how it goes. So it will be Noel Grant starting this match on his England mm. debut. Now, I wonder, will he be feeling nerves as this is his first ever match playing for England? Well, Noel's been about the block a, a long, long time, so um, I don't think he'll be nervous, but uh, we shall see. Play well over 100 games for Warwickshire. I wonder where his nickname, The General, comes from. Yeah. <laughs> Bit of a slow start here from yeah. both players. One hundred. Ninety-five. Yeah, that's more like it from now. He's uh, once he finds a travel he'll. Um, he will be. He won't be out of it much. One hundred. But Dean Carr has taken the advantage away from him at the moment in this mm. first leg. The action of Noel Grant is quite steady, isn't it? Yeah, it's very unorthodox, though, isn't it? If you look, right. if you stand behind him and watch him, you need to stand behind him and watch him and see how he throws. <laughs> He's a big man as well. Oh, yeah, yeah, he's very, very 60. tall. Really nice bloke as well, though. You need to get, you need, have to have a chat with him. He's a really nice bloke. I believe I may have said hello to him or had a word with him. 95. And he is f to the finish first. And Grant leaves himself mm. Shanghai. Now, what can Dean Carr hit here? 61, it yep. only 120. They are both on Shanghai here, but Grant will have first crack at this. He's got the single. Just underneath the treble. 56. He goes to the 60s here. It's Dean's turn now. That's a cracking second dart. Double top. Ooh. That was for a break of throw as well. Mm. Now, Noel, staying at the twenties, he may only get just one dart at double here. He's going to get two yeah, at double top. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's a cracking dart. Yeah, he's a cool customer, is Noel. And a nice hold of throw to start this match. Comes downstairs now, trying to find a treble 19. 58. And again, yeah. another trebleless visit from Noel Grant. Yeah, here's Dean's chance now, isn't it? This is on Dean Carr's throw here. 
16. Noel, I want to put a big one in here, I think. Which it looks like he's going to do. Amazing darts fair from Noel Grant, but Dean mm, is Dean following is. on. Dean's backing him up. Yeah, quality darts from Dean there. Fantastic darts from both players. And that has put Dean onto a finish first on 96. Now Noel, he needs a treble minimum here, and he yeah, gets that. that yeah. And he can stay straight here. Yeah. Leaves himself on 17, but Dean Carr is on 96 now. It will leave tops here. 48. No, he slipped there from Dean. Went into the 8 when he needed 16, but Noel Grant. He's got the treble, mm. 17. Leaves double top for a 2 0 lead and a break of throw. Oh. He goes next door. Yeah, so lucky that is. Now Dean. He'll go 16, double 16. Double 9. That's a wild dart there, that second dart. I think, do you think he rushed that a little bit then? He might have done, I'm not sure, but Noel Grant, double 15. It's on the second end, he takes it out straight away. And now the advantage is with England. To kick off this third leg for Noel Grant. Those two darts do not help Noel Grant at all. No. Needs to straight, straight, needs to straighten them up a little bit, doesn't he? But that is an excellent dart from Dean Carr. Just stepping across. Can he fill it? Yeah, quality darts. Good darts. Great last start that is from now. But the advantage of throw has now gone the way of Dean Carr because mm. he's now ahead in this third leg here. 60. But only replies with 60. Mm. <laughs> that is a loose second dart there. But it still hangs in there to give Grant 99. Steady enough, isn't it? Even though it was hanging precariously there. 100. It's a better, better leg from Dean, though. Noel needs straight 60. Would get him onto a finish, or some would be better. Oh. It's not going to get that. Loose last start from now. So it's six starts here for Dean Carr from 141. Only 45 though. Now Noel, if he can put a good amount of pressure on this, that would be good. Needs that treble desperately. Sixteen. Now treble twenty. Leaves double eighteen for Dean Carr to break straight back. Oh, very good darts. Very, very good darts that is. Fourth leg is Scotland to throw first. Game on. 
Now Dean Carr has a real chance to hold throw and make it 2 all now in this game. 100. Yep, good start from Dean as well. Fair play to him, he was 2-0 down and under it. but um, He's looking more comfortable now, isn't he? Oh, I would think so, yes. 100. Good reply from now. He could come down here. Oh, I think he's moving over, I think. No, oh, he's went down. down to 19s. Now he's coming back to 18s now. Oh. 40. Another loose last start there from Noel. The advantage is now with Dean Carr. 41. Come on now, he's better than that. He's a lot better than that. So is so is Dean, I think. Sixty. The advantage is still with Carr, but Grant needs to hit a one eighty here to get onto a finish, and that is a great start. And again, can, like it. can he fill it up? No. One. Not quite, but those aren't mm. those are not great darts there from Dean to start mm. with. Blue starts from Dean there, but he gets himself onto the big fish. But can Noel Grant get himself onto a better checkout here? Coming down for a cover shot here. That is a great second dart. Yeah. Will he go back upstairs? Yes, he will. Yeah, I thought he'd go 13. Now, the big fish for Dean Carr. Can he take it out? No, he won't. So, Noel Grant will get a chance on 96 to break back. That's good, it's good darts from Dean, though. It's good darts from Dean, that is. Needs the treble. He gets it, so double yes. eight for 3-1. I thought he might have gone double double then, but now will he go treble eighteen or treble ten? I think he's going the ten route. Yes, he gets it for double top. Yeah, good dart, very good dart. A fantastic finish from Dean yeah. Carr there. Yeah, super dart. Considering if he misses that, then he's 3-1 um, down, so yeah, very good dart. So from 2-0, no, it's now 2-all in this game. We've got a real game on. That's a loose second dart from Noel there. 30. Two loose darts. Is it nerves, I wonder? Um, yeah, I'd probably say um, he's usually a bit better than this, but... Um, 60. You know. Despite... Bags of experience that Noel Grant has hmm. in the county system. He, everyone still has nerves. Of course, oh yeah, definitely. Even the veterans. <laughs> <laughs> That's better. That's more like Noel Grant. It's it's kind of like one player does it, then the other, then the other does it, and then one backs it up with a decent finish, <laughs> a decent shot, and then. Coming up after this game, we will have the 
Captain of Scotland, Alan Small, play against Tommy Morris in the next one. But right now we focus on this game in hand. 60. Only 60. Still keeps his lead in this leg, does Noel. But a great cover shot from Dean. Yeah, that's good dart, that is, from um, Dean there. If Noel can hit a nice ton, or even yeah, he better... he needs a ton minimum, doesn't he? Or even better, he'll get onto a great check out no, here. Go. Treble 19. 177! Fan that's awesome darts, that is. Awesome Fantastic darts there from Noel. Leaves double 18 when he comes back. I feel like they've just got into this game. <laughs> now this for his first leg since leg two. Double nine. He comes inside. He busts it. Score require 120. And now a real chance. Shanghai for Dean Carr. Once He's again, safe with the first half. Oh, yeah. Double Great top. One hundred. He's unlucky there. Very, 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 very unlucky. Yeah. That's a good On the fifth leg, to England. Once again, Noel Grant takes the lead. Sixth leg is Scotland to throw first. Game on. This could go all the way here if Dean Carr can hold his throw, but those two darts are not helping. No, I want to pile the pressure on him now, I know. I know he will. He'll come down. Yeah, he'll come down there. Well, that is a Five bit seven. of a loose dart. Yeah, good, good last dart, good last dart. Redeems himself with that last one. An excellent last start there from Dean Carr. Needs to get a treble here. Yeah. 59. It's not the end of the world for Noel though. If he loses this leg, he'll, um, he'll have the darts in the final leg. Exactly, and although I bet in his head he will be thinking, I just want to get this yeah, over, and done get with. This over and done with now. I know he will, yeah. He really needs a treble here. Yeah, he does. 60. Doesn't get one. Now, Dean, if he hits 99 again, no, he won't. 81. He leaves the Della finish. One three eight. That's a good dart from now. One hundred and one. Scotland require one hundred and thirty eight. Well, he gets himself down to a finish. That's a quality dart from Dean. That is. He stayed there to leave door nine. Ninety eight. England require 152. Now, 152. Another treble to leave double 16. It's not there, so Dean Cart will have 140. three more darts. Oh, it's good, good fresh darts, though. 
Yeah, good job. Yeah, Huge pressure on Noel Grant here to hold his throat and to make it 4-1 to keep England in the lead over Scotland in this men's game. 76. A great last start there, crucially needed. Same as Dean. No seems to be um, dropping low. I've noticed that. Well, usually he's um, all above it, but at the minute he's dropping low. Forty-three. These are tense moments mm. in this match here. That is a great treble there for Noel Grant. You'll see when he um, finds the treble first start, he usually follows it. 95. 95. Keeps him ahead here. He needs a treble, I think. 45. Now, a straight ton would leave Noel the big fish here. A ton minimum required here to leave himself on a finish. Be a nice way to go out the 170, wouldn't it? Now, if he can stay straight. Yeah, perfect. 100. And that is exactly what he leaves. Now, Dean. He's not going to be on a finish after these. 80. England will require 170. Noel, Noel Grant has six darts from 170 here. Steady darts there, leave him 74. A great second dart from Dean. 75! Yeah. Yeah. 74! feel sorry for Dean there, really. Now, treble 14. Leaves double 16 for Noel Grant to take the match. Yeah. That's great dart! Oh no, I'm upset I mean to um, Noel. An, abs later an absolutely superb performance by Noel Grant on his England debut.
Wales. And we carry on with the Scotland men's captain, Alan Small, taking on Tommy Morris. Tommy Morris, this is his debut for England. He plays for Dorset. And his opponent, Alan Small, is the captain of Scotland. He plays for Fife. Six set, first leg is Scotland to throw first. Hey, and this should be an excellent encounter in prospect. Oh, and I am once again being joined by my fellow autistic player friend, Callum Bedeau. Hello, Callum. Hello, mate. So it took you a while to introduce me there. <laughs> yeah, apologies. <laughs> I was focused on the game. A very good start here for Tommy Morris on his England debut as well. Decent start from both players, to be fair. Yeah, Tommy Morris really taking it to the Scotland captain. Oh, it could be a max here, yeah? Oh! You can tell it means a lot to him. He's given it a go on after every single shot. Yeah, he, he, he seems to be one of the more passionate players, Tommy Morris. Yeah. Get ready for the roar if this goes in. He's on 87. Double 18. Oh, go oh, on. Oh. Go on. Absolutely spellbinding. His first leg, 11 data. That is absolutely spellbinding stuff from the debutante. What a way to open up your first ever match. He's also very quick as well. So blink and you'll miss it, darts. Yep, Alan Small is a, a little slower, but then Not again, slower, to be fair. but then again, it doesn't matter how fast or slow you are, it's how you play the game. Whether you dart to go in the treble 20 or not. Both players are playing well so far. Maybe Tommy's gave it a bit too much in that first leg and he's got himself a little bit wound up. A little bit off the boil. Yes. Because his first few visits in this leg have not been great. He's on f um, just high 300s after 9 darts. Mid 300s after 12 darts. I'll correct myself now. And this is very good. 100. Tommy needs to find something. 80. 43. He's not exactly happy with this leg so far. Both of them left the big fish. Mace, I'll let you call his first one. Yep, Alan Small gets first crack at this. It's not going to happen now. Yep. Your, your calling was pretty short. Let's see if mine's any longer. <laughs> Tommy Morris, 170. No, it's not any longer. Okay, you call the 110. So both players with 60 and now 110 for Alan Small. But that won't happen now. And now it's my turn to call the 110. The 110 coming up. Same shot. Different result, double 18. That was for a holder throw as well. So it's a break throw here. Alan Small, 67. Oh, he's missed the big number. He's missed the big number. 35. Shut the last start in 14, so they've double 16 and now double 9. Last start, big dart. There'll be a big roll if this goes in. Oh, look at that! 
to England. Look at the roar. Two Scotland Look at the roar. It definitely means a lot to Tommy Morris to be up here representing his country. Yeah. I would have given it to him if I had played any well. If I had played it as well as he is right now. And he's in again. 99. Throws very quick as well. Reminds me of Luke Littler. Or Leighton Bennett. Yes, or, yeah, or either of them, yeah. To be fair, because they're both unbelievably quick. Leighton slowed down a bit um, in recent times, but he's starting to get his form back quite a bit. He, he, I'm, both of them are currently at the JDC Advanced Tour right now. Luke has won event one of this weekend's action. I would be there, but I'm here right now representing my country, and it is an honour. Unlucky. Unlucky. I think it was only in one anyway, but that was down to a deflection. Now, if Alan can hit a 105, or not after that. 83. is okay, but it doesn't leave a finish. I was going to say Tommy will be on one, but it's no guarantee. He won't be on one. He won't be on one. 182 plays 179. 125. Leave double eighteen. Six seven going now. That's in the single, that's it. He's missed the ball completely. He should have just went for the ball. He's lost his head there. He's completely lost his head because he could have just had a dart of ball and now he may pay for it. Top. He moves across, takes aim. And now, it's the gamble paid off, but only just. And another roar! Another roar! Another roar from Alan. Both of these players really giving it some out there today. Alan's in. Only a ton. Eighty-five. Eighty-five there. Keeps him in front in this fourth leg on his throw, Tommy Morris. Twenty-four. And a real chance to pull even further ahead here, especially after that first start. Only a ton though. You would have expected more for that first arc. Sixty. You can hear the calls of "Come on, Tommy boy." Eighty-one. Again, the first arc gr great, but he hasn't followed it. Yeah. Like he did in that first leg, where he had a really good 11 data. Well, he's on 135, but he won't. He doesn't have to take it out with his opponent not on a finish, but he can go for it anyway. Now he's hit the ball. 79. He hit the ball first dart, which means he can just go for it anyway with freedom. That's not a good dart. Neither side. 76. Yeah, 56. 56 now. Tops. Big Rob, this goes in. Tops. 16. He did not get it. 1 4 1 now. It's not going to go. 27. Yeah, he requires 40. Now 40 for Tommy Morris to go 3-1 up. Oh, and there's another roll. Dead centre. He is absolutely loving it up there. He is absolutely loving it. He's on fire, isn't he? Yes, I mean, he didn't. He had one pretty bad leg. But, ever, but apart from that, he has been absolutely phenomenal. On his debut as well. 
Means a lot to this young man here. He's got one in. Oh. Again, giving it a little bit after that. This could be a leg where he breaks through and takes the match here. You can tell he does, it's like he's in a hurry. He is unbelievably fast. He's left to finish. He's going to get six darts from here. The turn went in. Alan Small needs two troubles to pressure here, or just the one at least. Oh dear. Oh dear. He just misses. Now, 147. It's not going to go, so the once reds, again. The reds aren't going in, and as long as the blacks are not. More match starts. More match starts coming in here for Tommy Morris. Double eight now. Takes his time. He's going to. That's in the way. Are there? There it is, Tommy Morris on his debut, completes a brilliant display and wins 5-1.
Hello and welcome once again to the British Internationals here at the Golden Palm Resort. And we are about to start the seventh match out of 12 in this men's game, England versus Scotland. It will feature Jamie Bain of Scotland on Lloyd Pennell of England. Now for Lloyd Pennell, this will be his England debut as well. He plays for Lincolnshire, so this is home turf for him. Ladies and gentlemen, seventh set, first leg, England to throw first. Game on. And once again, I am joined by Callum Badeau alongside me. Hello, Callum. Hello, Mason. How's it going? 41. Not the best start for Lloyd in his England debut. 41 to kick in. 96. Now Jamie Bain, he plays for Grampian and he is a former tour card holder in the PDC. 55. He played for them up until 2018. And he's shown why. Jamie Bean actually resigned his tour card from the 2020 season due to other commitments saying he would he would rather prefer someone else to get his place and use it fully. 99. I think Jamie's miscounted there because he should have stayed at 19s. He's left 166. And I'm pretty sure he's just realised. 57. It doesn't matter now that Lloyd Pennell isn't on a finish. 94. Of course, 72. now 72, he's got double 12, 60. just below. You now Pennell will start on the 19s, treble 18, leaves the bullseye. 85. Plays at a quick pace to Jamie Bain. Well, 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 well. A chance he never expected. Straight at it, double 19. Always oh, went inside. It's glad. It's good that he went in first start, and he nearly busted that double eight. 22. It's good that he went in first start. Perfect. Perfect dart, and it is one nil in favour of Jamie Bain. And it's a break of throw as well. Yes, so it gives him even more of an advantage. Because it, it helps him to try and avoid a last leg decider. Now, we all know that there have been several debuts this weekend, and Lloyd Pennell is one of them. And for this, and this is sort of home turf for him, because we're in Lincolnshire, and he plays his darts for Lincolnshire. 55! So there'll be plenty of support for Lloyd Pennell, I feel. 140! The advantage is with the Scotsman at the moment. 55! Still is, but if a 140 goes in, it's near enough even again. That's not quite. He may switch now. 100. He stayed there and it paid off. But Jamie's still four darts ahead. He's more on ahead now. 138. Very good visit. 68 when he returns for a 2 0 lead. Needs to find a trouble to leave a finish. 100. Has done. But it's a big ask. Double 16. He gets it. Shot the leg. It took the ref a little while to. Yeah, seeing Tilly, the referee. He was taking. He was taking my. He was, he, I think you can probably hear me because we're quite close to the stage and I'm 
and I'm pretty sure he was taking my call that it was in. It was dead centre as well. Yeah, it took him a little bit of time to see if that was in, but it was. And it's a 2-0 lead to Jamie Bean over Lloyd Pennell. He is a fast player, isn't he, Jamie Bain? Just yes. look at him go. Yes, that, I mentioned that earlier. Um, it's blinking, you'll miss it, darts. Yeah, and of course he played for several years on the PDC circuit. 100. So he's definitely got the game in him. 60. Yeah, but right now he definitely seems like he is very much interested in the game and he wants to go on. So I wouldn't be surprised to see him get his tour car back sometime soon. 60. He's left 160, which is a decent leave, but we never know what what can happen. Lloyd Pennell needs this uh, 160 for his first leg, and that's in the one. He may switch now to try and leave a straight number. Taking this time. That's not ideal. 68. Good last start to recover. But if Jamie Bain can hit at least a 100 or a 140. 60. Thinking you require 92. 92 now. A chance to get his first leg of the match here, Lloyd Pennell. His first leg in an England shirt. Not quite. 60. So how can you require 144? 56. Even you require 32. 12. 12. He got it. Leg. He get it. He has got it, and Lloyd Pennell is all of a sudden back in this match. It's a good dart. That's a great dart. Great visit to open the fourth leg. This could be even better. Oh, he'd have wanted to match it. He'd have wanted to match it, but it hasn't happened. This is excellent stuff from Jamie Bain. This is not bad either. He's went downstairs. A decent 95 there. Leaves himself on the big fish. After nine darts. Oh, he needs to get out of there. He has to get out of there. Did the right thing, but he didn't leave the finish. Hang on a minute. The bullseye. Oh! He just misses the bullseye. Of course, he didn't have to go for it, though, because Lloyd Pennell not on a finish. You always want to have the, the honour of getting the first 170 of this year's British Internationals. 25 now. He's missed the big number double four. 17. England, you require 78. Now, despite missing that big fish, Lloyd has a dart of tops. Oh, and he's just gone high. Double four for Jamie Bain. Great marker. Moves across. Oh, that is unlucky. That's unlucky. Now, tops for Lloyd Pennell. This is for a break of throw. Double ten. Oh, that moved the wire. Push the wire. Double four. Three one. Double two. Oh, and there it is. And that will be a big relief to not let that get too messy. 
and a roar of approval from Jamie Bain as well as it went in. Yeah, as well as the crowd here in the Golden Palm Resort in Zagnes. 41. And if he takes the match here, it will be 5 2. 125. And the first set to Scotland since the very start of this one. Well, unfortunately, you're wrong. It was the second game that they got the point. Oh, yeah, you're right. My apologies. 100. Since they made it 1 all. Yeah, the, and they had a chance to win that match as well. The third match between, if I can get my notes up, Scott Campbell and Martin Atkins. It was a very close game. And Whoa! Atkins took it. A long pedal. A, t a 180. When he really needs it. 134. Both of them having a decent leg here. Yep. Lloyd needs a treble here. 60. He doesn't get one. So two trebles here. He's already got one of them. Another one would be gold. 100. And then you require 120. 120 now. It's on. 20 and tops. Oh, you can't get much closer. How can you require 97? 97. Is that free? No, you cannot do it. Keeps missing the big numbers. 23. 74 is left. 40. That'll be for the match if this doesn't go. Double 10, that's a bad dart. Takes his time. Aims. Takes fire. Double, Double five. five. That's where we whisper and pay attention. And Jamie Bain. 74. He could get to it. Double 16 or it'll be one at tops. No, it deflects it. It deflects. Low panel. Double five. That's where we normally whisper so we can pay attention. Double five. Double five. Two left. Don't go inside. One left. Has to go aggressive. Oh, and he's missed it. And that might be the end of his hopes. That might be good night, nurse. Double ten. He's done it. Jimmy Bain has taken the win. And it's 5-2 now. England still have the lead.
next opponent representing England, Scott Mitchell. We are ready to start the seventh, no, the eighth of our 12 matches on this next match. Scotland versus England. And we have a former England captain in action, Scott Mitchell, taking on Nicky Danoon of Scotland. And what can we say, Scott Mitchell, one of the legends, I would think, a world champion in 2015. Ladies and gentlemen, eight set, first leg, Scotland is row first. Came on. He plays his dance for Dorset. And his opponent, Nicky Danoon. This is his... 60. It is Nicky Danoon's debut for the Highlands in Scotland. Once again, and as usual, I am joined by my fellow autistic art player friend, Callum Badeau. Hello, Callum. Hello, it's be not becoming old now. It's becoming old now. Now, we know Scott Mitchell from years, really. Well, his amazing run in the World Championship in 2015, going on to lift the title and taking the 100 grand yeah. on offer. Even though he beat my hero in the final, Martin Adams, which I was gutted about, but that starts and yeah, respected that. <laughs> and he's making a steady start here. 100. Aside from the World Championship, other tournaments that he's won, with England Arts, he's won the England match play twice. And they're all in that period where he was winning a lot of things. Exactly, and he's also won the Jersey Open twice in back to back years. And also he has won 60. the England Classic once, the Swiss Open twice. He's a French Open, British Open, and Romanian Classic champion. He has won the England Masters twice, won the Welsh Open, which I will be going to in two weeks, the Isle of Man Classic, the Czech Open, Denmark Open, Swedish Open, and lots. Yep. Yeah. What you're basically saying, Mason, is he's won absolutely lots. So the German Open, Denmark Masters, and England National Singles. Yes. Both players have started pretty well here. Scott's starting just a slightly better of the two. That's in the single 19, so he may look at treble 14 here, but it could be the ball. He's it, went for the ball. It was the ball, so Nicky Danoon right is going to have a chance here. Scott Mitchell, double five now. Three 
think we're at a high of viewers so far for this weekend. We're at 655. Uh, rise from around 300 so far at the start of the day. We are now at over 650, which is pretty good. Thank you all for joining and welcome to the stream. Hope you're enjoying. I'm Calabello, joined by Mason Lakey, and we are your commentators for this afternoon's action. Yeah, a steady start for Scott Mitchell there, and a break of throw to start with. 90. Oh, by the way, I received a message from Sam Matthews, another one of our autistic friends. He says, I think I know, I know why Noel Grant's nickname is the General. It's an American soldier, he says. Well, um... The, the thing is, he's probably right because I've heard of that, and I didn't think his—I didn't hear his nickname before. But uh, now I'm pretty sure I know why. 90. That's two nineties in a row for <laughs> the Scotland team of Danny Tr Nick and Danone Even my apologies, I've screwed up the names. Oh, by the way, you know there's another. 100 dance player who has a nickname of soldier except it's spelled differently and that well, is that is Lena Gates, the yeah. current champion of champions of the World Seniors Darts Tour. Exactly. Also also I think you screwed up because his nickname is the general is Noel Grant. Yeah. Oh my apologies I thought it was Yeah, it's yeah I think you got Sam's message mixed up. Yeah American soldier yeah. Yes. 30. Yeah, uh, well, uh, quite ironic because Leonard Gates is American. Only 30 from Scott Mitchell, 131. Now, what can Nicky leave here? It's not a good dart there. I think it's fair to say he hasn't left much. 131 for Scotty Dog. He's got six darts here to take it out. He ain't going to take it at this list, visit, but... Is that in? No, he's going down to the 17. I think that proves to me that it wasn't in. He and wants Nicky. to leave a double. 140! Thinking you require 74. So there's pressure on for Scott Mitchell to hold throw and to go 2 0 up here. He's hit the. He's got. Yeah, yeah, he's doubles. got the trouble 14. And it's that's it, the double six. Well! I thought it was treble 11 at one point. So did I. It wasn't. But an excellent two dart check out there for Scotty Dog. This is, is this a max? It is, you know! That is Nicky Danood's first max in the Scotland shirt. And now he's got a comfortable lead in the leg. And now there may be a thought in the back of our mind of a nine daughter. Who knows? Nah. <laughs> 100. It's good enough, though. It's good enough to keep at least a two visit lead. If not a three visit lead. It's going to be cut down. Steady dance from Scott, though. 100. Scott Mitchell needs three trebles to get himself down to a finish. He may well do that. No, he won't. So one, two. It's good. One, one, it's two, good, five. but it's not quite right. It's good, but it's not quite right. One, two, five for Nicky Danoon. No, he's hit the 20. Go for a treble 20. It'll leave double 10. It hasn't panned out. But Scott, li Scott Mitchell is not on a finish. He will be. He would love a 177 here. He surely. may stay there. No, he's not. He's going down. He's going downstairs. 177. Good call. Mason, he has got it. And now 60 really is a must take. Tops. Double 10 for his first leg in the Scotland shirt. He's got it. 
and the raw from Nicky Danoon. Straight in the treble there from Nicky Dunoon and again. And Second oh maximum! Second time he's kicked off a leg with a 180. And dare I say it again? Thought of a nine daughter? Who knows? Oh, Scott's not doing bad either. And that's a maximum as well! It is in it, Ian! Right. Right, no nine daughter this time. 3 one eighty so far in this match, we're only in the fourth leg. This is a good scoring leg here from both players. Straight to him would leave Scott Mitchell. He needs to go spot. downstairs, I think. No. He's going to stay there. He tried to risk it and try and get through that block of dart. And it hasn't panned out. That's a good dart. Okay. Savage bounce out there. 120. That's a great visit though. Great visit despite the bounce out. Yeah, great recovery there from Nicky Danoon. He's playing him well. Scott would love another 177 here. Oh, it's take two. This is brilliant. Get down. 139. Scott, can you require 105? Now 105 for Nicky Danoon. Trouble 15. No, not going to happen. Scott Mitchell, 62. 41. England, you require 62. 62 yep. now. He will go treble 10. No, he's went treble 18. That's double. That's in, double four. Yeah. And he's only gone and got it. He's only gone and got it. He went the old Gary Anderson route, treble 18, double four. I don't think Mason saw it coming. That was an excellent finish there from Scotty Dog. And now he's one leg away. Former world champion. One leg away from making it 6 2 in England's favour. A guaranteed draw. Exactly. This is another max. Oh, I, I would have fancied that considering that first start. The first start, I would have really fancied another max. That's not a good dart. He needs to get a treble. He hasn't got it. Fourth maximum of the match. It would have been his second. Nicky's had two himself. <coughs> Looking down for trouble 19. That's unlucky. That's unlucky. A real chance now for Scott Mitchell. If he can find two troubles here. He is well on his way to a match winning position here. 100. It's a decent visit. That's a good dart. Oh, another bounce out. 80. Another bounce out. That is properly savage, as you would say. Exactly. Now, Scott. now. Straight in there with the treble. If he can hit a 180, we'll leave him tops. Or another to leave 80. That's a great visit. Leaves 80 for the match. And all Nicky can do is just throw and hope. 78. He has left the finish. He has left the finish. But it's a big one. And he needs to rely on Scott Mitchell missing. He should definitely go the conventional route of treble 20 here. I don't think he'll go to tops. Is it one? So 
He should come down, I should think. Seventy nine or possibly. He's going down here. Yeah. Hasn't left the double. Forty. So fifty for a real steal and to save the match. Another one of them. Oh. So Scott Mitchell once again. More darts coming in. Double top to win. He takes his time. Ian Tilly going a bit slow there. But it does not affect Scotty Dog. Scott Mitchell wins 4-1 and it guarantees at least a draw. Game of the men. Can you give a big warm welcome, representing Scotland, Danny Truman? Danny's opponent representing England, James Richardson!
Hello again, and we are all catching our breath after that. Um, we even got involved ourselves, and myself and Miss and Mickey are absolutely exhausted after that. There. Yeah, you're telling me. <laughs> James, <laughs> I'm, I'm gasping for breath. James Richardson, he's got such an amazing walk on, hasn't he? That they even allowed him to use it when they've been using all other songs for everyone let me use that because it's so iconic. I guess it means a lot to him as well. Now, everyone. Yeah. Now, the reason James Richardson is a part of the England team is because he won the England international trial last year at Bridlington. I'm not too sure. Well, Ladies and gentlemen, best of luck, please. It's a great set for playing. Into the first game. He is also competing with his son Josh in the uh, England team. Josh Richardson, a former youth champion himself. Both in the JDC and the BDO. Yep. Yeah. For James Richardson, this is actually his debut for England. For both of them. For both the father and son, which is the first ever oh, father and son combo in an England team, Josh actually, in an England men's team. Although Josh Richardson actually played last year a couple of times. Oh, sorry. And Danny Truman, he plays for Grampian, and his nickname is The Show. Although I feel like James Richardson stole The Show after that. Yeah, I wouldn't want to play Grampian in a, um, in a uh, county match because they seem to have a lot of good players. I've heard the name a lot in the um, um, when you're announcing the players uh, because... If I was from Scotland, I would not want to play these. I would not want to play Grumpian because they seem like a very good team. And you can see there the quality. Sixty. Only sixty there. Has not been the best start. On two eighty after twelve, which is near enough a disaster. 85. James needs to hit two trebles to get onto a finish. Oh, well, well, he can't now. He no. Can't, no matter what. 24. So Danny Truman is going to have six routes from 151 here. He may only need three. Treble 17. No. So treble 14 or treble 18. With his last darts. Yes. Right now, understandable nerves from James Richardson right now. It is his England debut. And even with the amount of experience that he has, he may still feel the nerves of his first ever England game. 60. And he has a he is not a finish six visits, which is a disaster. I, but that's me saying that because I was I did that as well. So this is for a break of throw. For Danny Truman. Yes, he's, he's done it as well. And that is what seems to be a simple break of throw. Yeah, I'm not going to say James is average right now, but it's not particularly good. This is still early doors, though, because. Yes. Or early days, rather, I should say. Yeah, you've got your phrases mixed up. Got your phrases mixed up. Yeah, apologies for that again. This is a better start from Richardson oh, now. Oh, he's trying to use the flight. Wow. Trying to use the flight on both of them. He's just sailed over them. Fifty-nine. James on four 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 one. Wants to leave 261, and he has a great on 40 there. A great response, a great response. Truman still keeping himself in front in this second leg. A great response to a great response. 60. Richardson needed the tum there to get him down to a finish. 
So the advantage is still with Truman. 122. He's done well in this leg. Even though James has had a decent leg, it is in Danny's hands. 55. Only 55. So, 80 left. And even if he doesn't get it, it's a big ass for James Richardson. 58. He hasn't got it. He left double 11. I couldn't really see, so I didn't say anything. That one is definitely in. And 22 now. Double 11 for a 2 0 lead. He's taking a step back, composing himself, and takes a shot. Double 11. Still one left. 11. Oh. Now, a real chance for James Richardson on 66 here that he didn't think he'd get. He went, he went for the ball. He's got 11 for ball now. No. It's, it's a good it. leave. Leave yeah. It. Yeah. He leaves it handy on double 16, but it will be 3 for double 4 for Danny Truman to go 2 0 up and hold a throw. And he hasn't done that. Double 4. That's a bad dart. Double 2. Yes, and he's got it! A hole and four, and it is 2 0. Both the teams average around about the 81 range. He's went downstairs. 96. Good last start there from Richardson, but he's up against it here, 2-0 down against Danny Truman, desperately needs this leg here. 59. Looks like he could get it as well because Danny has not hit the best visit. He's looking at treble 19s and that is a bad dart. 45. And that means he's not on a finish. So Danny Truman, well, I was going to say he had the advantage, but now he doesn't. He does now if, if he hits another treble 20. 76. He hasn't. Richardson needs to get himself onto a decent one here. 49. James has not had a good game. James has not had a good game on his own throw. It's been near enough disastrous. Now this is for free note and a break of throw again here for Danny Truman. Treble 17. We'll leave double 16. Is that in? Is that in? No, it's not. That is, though. Double 16. No. 51. I want you to require 148. Now, this is a big check out here. But no. Can he? No, no it's not in. 60. Now, double 16 for Truman. To take the third leg and take a 3 0 lead. Two 16s. Two 8s. Yeah, yeah that's. 
Uh, and James Richardson's in England debut is going up in flames right now. It is currently going up yeah. in flames. The flames of Danny Truman. It's not a very good dart. He needs to recover from that. It's not over for James Richardson yet, so... 125! As the old saying goes, don't tempt fate. There he is. This is a max. Easy. Never mind, it wasn't even in. Never mind, it wasn't in. This is a really good chance for Danny Truman here to make the score 6-3 overall. An interesting fact about today so far, we have not had a 4-0 so far in the men's matches, but we could now. 100. Sixty-five. One hundred. Two eleven. He'll look at nineteenth, I think. No, is he going twenties? He is, and I think that might prove to be a mistake. He needs to switch. He hasn't. That is a that is a miscount. That's poor ball management, in my opinion. James Richardson, if he can hit some trebles here, it'll give him a nice finish. Sixty. That's unlucky because they were three well thrown darts. They just didn't go where he intended them. Will Danny Truman get himself onto a better checkout? Not with that first start, he won't. Just don't hit the big one. That's all he wants. Twenty. Well, he's left to finish, but it is a massive one. One six one. It's on. It's not on now. One hundred and twenty-seven. It was on. No, he hit the bull last start. He ah. hit the bull last start. I leave double seventeen. Ah, my apologies. Yeah, double seventeen was the, nowhere near, mate. The cameras that we are looking at. It's hard to tell whether they are they are in the trouble or not. Basically trying to say his vision isn't the best. He goes to double sixteen, James Richardson. I don't think he plans to hit the ball on that last dart. I think he plans to hit the twenty five and then leave nineteen in tops. Now this is a good chance now, ninety eight. Double nineteen for the match. He gets it! And Scotland are still in the match. Scotland.
Jenny Scotland. Colin Heppelwhite. Hello and welcome back to the 2023 British Internationals at the Golden Palm Resort in Chapel St. Leonard's near Skegness. And we have got a legend playing here, Paul Hogan, takes on Colin Hepplewhite here. For Paul Hogan, he plays his darts for Berkshire and he hit a nine darter at British Internationals back in 2017, Callum Badoe. Yes. Um, I've already asked him, can we have another one? And let's see if he can do another one. Um, his opponent, Colin Hepburn, he plays his dance for Fife and it's his debut. First, first two darts are pretty debut like. First two darts are pretty decent. That's a decent dart as well. Oh, unlucky. 123. That's a good visit. Responded. One hundred. This could be a really good game here. Apple White on his debut, and he started off pretty well here. Yes, better than I did. 60! <laughs> well, actually, no, I started off pretty well, to be fair, so... But, Hoagie is on fire. Yeah. 100! Also nicknamed Crocodile Dundee as well. Yes, I'll stick to Hoagie. <laughs> His wife, Angela... Save my mouth. Hogan's wife, Angela, here, 60. of course, as well, helping out. Yes. Could be on a double after 12 dart. He is. Possible 13 darter if this 164 doesn't go. And it doesn't. Double 19 can be awkward though, but he's I, I, I think he should go for it. His darts don't stand up as far as some others, so he may just go for it. He may just go for it. His darts don't stand up as much. And plus, he'd be expecting to get it from there. Oh, he has bust. Well, not busted, but he's... He's gone inside. Yes. So. Yeah, what, what, whatever you said. 20. He goes to leave double nine. That is a surprising move there. He may not get a chance at it. What did you think he was going to do? But the ball... Oh, I What's couldn't. Double nine. That is a good marker. 
Well, Ooh. that's lucky. That is lucky. Double Ooh. two. Double two now. Well, I think Paul Hogan can count himself a bit lucky there that that went in the 14 and not the 9. And that was a break of throw as well. Coming down here. Only 60. It lets Hog in again. He'll want another treble. 60. He doesn't get another treble. I would like to take this moment to say hello to all the people who are watching this live stream, and we hope you are. We hope you are enjoying the action. This is. Dot at its finest, England, Scotland and Wales all going at it. Men, women, boys and girls all against each other. It's just amazing to watch. We hope you have enjoyed this. And we've got one commentator who has that experience in myself playing in the boys. It didn't really go to plan, but playing on that stage is just an honour. And if you, if you think you have the talent and the capability to go on that stage and perform to the best of your ability. Honestly, just keep going and then you'll make it eventually. Honestly, you'll never get a better experience. And if we have any aspiring dark players watching this, then we strongly urge you, come and have a go. As Bradley Wall says, come and have a go if you think you're good enough. A chance for a 2 0 lead for Paul Hogan. Treble 20. He may go top tops here. No. No, he's, no, he's went the conventional route. 60. As an old school player, I shouldn't be surprised, but I am. Well, this 1 3 6 isn't going to go, but Colin Heppel White will leave this handy. Oh, no, he hasn't. He hasn't left the double. He's missed the big number, and top for Hogan. Takes the second leg. Taking the second leg. And now Colin Hepperwhite is under pressure. And that is showing. Nine scored. That was not... He let Paul Hogan in. That was not a good visit there. So once again, Hogan. Hogan has a chance here. To go ahead. So Paul Hogan has realistically taken the advantage of throw here now. I want a stack on top of that. He has done. 100. Hasn't quite followed it, but he, it's a decent score. But Paul Hogan is... Pulling away that treble 20. 140. A 140 there. Puts exceeding pressure on Colin Heppelwipe. And I must remind you, if England win this game, it'll be guaranteed that they will win the overall game between England and Scotland men. 123. He leaves himself 97. He needs seven points to win the overall game, six six each of the draw over the 12 sets. Scotland are essentially playing for a draw. Treble 18 for double 12 now for Paul Hogan. No, it will leave double top here. 57. Colin needs to hit a treble or two here. He desperately needs it now. Six. Hasn't done. It's not been a great Not on a finish after 15. Double 10 now for Paul Hogan. Oh, sorry, after 18. Uh, I retract my last statement. He wasn't on 18 darts. Which is even worse than not been on a finish after 15. 
And Paul Hogan, it's fair to say, is absolutely battering the debutante. 100! It could be another 4 0 result here, potentially. For the last game. Started off well here, and he's starting off really well. Could it be another 180? Is this the first of the match? It is! That is Paul Hogan's first of the match. Absolutely glorious stuff here from Crocodile Dundee here. The 14th 180 of this overall match, and we're in the 10th set. 105. 105 there. He leaves himself on 116 after nine. He wants to go out in style here. It's been a right royal demolition job by Crocodile Dundee. Treble leaves double 18. Stack on top of that. He hasn't. 60. Hasn't quite left a double, but I think the Colin Hepperwhite, I don't, he can't leave a finish now. He has six down to 56, and knowing Paul Hogan, he's probably going to take it. 20. He goes to, oh no. He'll go, no, he'll go 19 double 18 because he likes this double. 20. He didn't prove it though because he's just missed it. Needs another. Hasn't quite got another, but Paul Hogan now. Double 18 to take the England win. He's done it! England have taken the win! It's an overall 7-3 overall. And England are guaranteed the win going into the last two games. Coming up next is Gary Stone against Jamie Atkins. This will be a cracking game coming up. England, Jamie Atkins.
Welcome to this penultimate match between England and Scotland. The men. We have got Jamie Atkins taking on Gab Stone. Jamie Atkins plays for Warwickshire, and this is once again we've got another England player making his debut. How amazing is that? Yes, another one along with uh, quite a few in the youth team, including myself. Um, we've had quite a few debutants in the men's team. I can't remember many debutants in the women's team, I don't think. Let me just have a look um, at my notes. The women's team. There was many debutants in the women's team. No, there weren't. The only one that was making a debut was Joe Locke. Yes, because she won Bridlington last year. One hundred. Fun there to kick. One hundred and twenty-one. Gary Stone, as we know, is one of the top players in the WDF system right now. He is from East Stirlingshire. 46. And he is a former Europe Cup singles champion, so he's got good experience playing for his country here. 57. As you can probably hear, we've had a change in the refereeing department. Lee Cadigan has came in from Wales. 60. Gary Stone is actually the reigning... Romanian Classic champion from this year. That's a good visit from Gary Stone. It takes it to an even number of 200. And you also missed doing the double in Romania. Be because he lost in the Romanian Open final to Romania's very own, Laszlo Kadar. Yeah, very good player himself. Yeah. He, he is currently 17th in the rankings, Laszlo Kadar. And Gary Stone, I believe, is between 20 and 30 somewhere. That's a good visit. 95. Scotland requires 60. Gary Stone on 60. Leaves tops. He's and he gets it. To a nice 14 data yep. to kick Seven off the match. Current Wales. average of 107 yeah. so far. He's a really good player, is Gary Stone. And don't we know it. Yeah, I was meant to play him at an open event back in the northeast uh, a couple of years ago, but he had to pull out of the event because he was playing in, in the what was then the live league, now the more the super series. As Jamie Atkins hits him. He has it all. Absolutely. Fantastic! 180s galore. 100. He leaves himself on 157 after nine darts. Gary Stone. Jamie might hit another one here, but he hasn't. 85. Both players on finishes after nine. Gary Stone will want to set this up well here. He's going to come down here. 49. It's a break straight back. It's been a very good leg from both players. He wants the treble 19 to leave tops here, Jamie Atkins. 42. Hasn't quite. Needs a treble 16. He gets it for tops. 68. He was above he that. Just above. And now, 94 for Jamie Atkins. Uh, yeah, that's a free, so tops. It's a recovery. Oh. Out of the first leg in the England shirt. Gary Stone tops for a 2-0 lead. 
Oh, and it's get it. I think a couple of people in, in the it's fun. He got it. The double top. And that is in. Jamie Atkins takes the leg, and it is one all in this race to four. And that was. And that, from Jamie Atkins, was a break straight back as well. He's going to come down here. 96. Excellent cover shot there from Jamie Atkins. And excellent from Gary Stone as well. 96. Only 96. I think you would have expected 134 there. That's a perfect dart. Oh, he's pulled it a bit. Great dart. Great dart. That is a quality dart. That is some quality darts there from Jimmy Atkins. He's going to get six darts at this one thirty. So he may not need to take it out on the ball. Uh, he's moving, so he's probably going for it. He doesn't have to, really. I don't think that's it, in. I, it's not in. He's going for trouble. He ain't leave double eighteen. Seventy-two that he has left. Gary Stone back on two five four. Now he's got to stay straight here. He's coming down. That's a great visit. Great visit. 72 now for the lead. Bit of pressure on this, but double 12. Two no. sixes. That was a poor dart there at double 12. Oh. Now a chance for Gary Stone to take a third consecutive break of throw. In this match here. But that won't happen now after that first dart. Should go treble 18 to leave double top here. 41. Now double. F this could be awkward. Yes! You can hear the roar from Jamie Atkins. He's 2 1 up in this race of four on his England debut. So that was a hold of throw for Jamie Atkins. That's a good first dart. Even better second dart. And that is the lot! The third maximum of the match. And last time this happened, Gary Stone was 1 1. Is he going to do it again? Not quite. Three perfect darts, all it is. 57. Only 57. Oh no. Six. Oh no. That is a disaster. And a good chance for Jamie Atkins to pull even further ahead in this fourth leg and possibly take a break a throw here. About to say, this is on. No. That was the cause. The cause of all those problems was the bounce out. One fifteen. Eighty two now. Ball for thirty two. Has hit the ball. No, he's he has not. Seventeen for tops. Just look. That's on. Single ten. For tops. This is a big, big dart. Oh, and it clips the wire. He can't believe it. 
So now it will be double ten for a break of throne to go three one ahead. Jamie Atkins. Double five. He gets it! Jamie Atkins is one leg away from taking the scalp of Gary Stone and taking a hit free lead. We have two incoming tomorrow, first and last. We kick off at 10 o'clock tomorrow and we go for 10 hours of absolutely amazing darts with we one women's game and two men's games. Wales v Scotland in the men, Wales v England in the women, in the the men which decides the overall championship. Two good darts from Jamie Atkins. Oh, and that's the third one, is he? Third one, is he with Jamie Atkins? Is Gary going to respond? Yes, he, he will. is. Fifth oh, one, eighty in the back. And Lee. Can't even do his full 180 call. That's how quick this is. Oh! Oh! oh, oh. oh unbelievable! Oh, no, two finish after. Welcome, representing Scotland, Davy Kerwan. Opponent from England, Josh Richardson.
and welcome to the last match of day two here of the 2023 British Internationals. David Kerwin of Scotland taking on Josh Richardson of England. David Kerwin here 16. plays his dance for Renfrewshire and he recently made the semi finals of the Scottish Open earlier this year. Hang about. Oh. Almost the 180 to kick in. And for the last time, I'd like to introduce my, uh, my co commentator, Callum Bido. Hello. Hello. It's been a great day too, hasn't it? Yes, I am absolutely exhausted, I'm not going to lie. I think we all are, to be honest. Yeah, I think Vindaloo always got, always got it all out of us. Yeah, and Josh Richardson here is the son of James Richardson, who played earlier on. Yes. He is the 2016 BDO World Youth Champion, he is. 100. Following in the footsteps of his father James as a darts player, and he is part of the England team again being retained from last year. 38. Not a great visit. And this is his second year playing for England. Is Josh Richardson. He wants to go out on a high here to end today. A 140 here would leave a finish. It's only a ton. It, it's a decent visit, but it hasn't quite left a finish. After 12 darts, so he will need a fifth visit to get to a finish. But it could be it could be a double that he's left on. Davy Kerwin first to the finish on 116. See the frustration there. Oh, that's not. Oh dear. Great recovery, but David Kerwin has the first chance for a checkout. He's going to start downstairs here. He needs the treble 19 to leave double top. Yeah, I think that's in. I think it's in. No, it wasn't. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Well, I apologise for that. As you can tell, my eyesight is not the best. Well, the cameras we're looking at, it's hard to tell whether they're in the trebles or not. But Josh is not going to get this one two two. Yes, we can see that. Twenty-six. So this is for a holder throw, Davy Kerwin. Oh, it's hit the four, so one or a nine is going to go nine. Oh, he's missed that as well. He what a mess! You can't keep missing the big numbers like that because that's what loses your games yeah in that situation if you've missed a big number just go for something at the bottom of the ball preferably 17 just so you can actually get yourself a shot at double no matter what you hit because your confidence will be knocked now josh tried to go double so davy kerwin will be back for double 12 here it's a bit high you need to come down a bit too far double six and Josh Richardson has a chance that he didn't think he'd get. This is for a steal, this. And a break of throw. Double 10 now. That great. is so close. Great marker. And the roar for J Josh Richardson. And the roar for his... In the background. Only 21 scored. 81. That's a good last start. Easy three. That's a perfect first start. He should have really followed that. And 80. F and. That 83 overall is an absolute disaster of a visit. But it's considering the, fir considering the first dart, that is a disaster in the end. It did keep him in front, only momentarily. Yes. 40. Not ideal. 
I wonder, is are his father's demons passing on to him now? Well, he's he's got Whoa. more than he's got more than James at the moment. He's got the one leg, but he won't be settled for one leg. He wants to win. Now, if Davy Kerwin can keep straight here, he'll get on a good finish here. Now, he's got to stay straight, or he'll come now for the 17s here. 57. He's left 164, just in case. That's a good dart. That's unlucky, because they're all on a pin out. But it's only 66. David Cohen will look at two travel 19s here. He's got one. I think. No, no, he hasn't. Oh, crap. 131 now. I could confirm that he's definitely in. He went for treble 16 for the double. 106. Now 106 for Kerwin. He gets for treble, so six. No, he goes 10, double 18. Oh, that is not far. Dead centre. And it's 2-0. Push the team average back up towards 81 and a half. Scotland is around 80. Scotland to throw in this third leg. It's currently 8-3, as you can see on your screen. Josh Richardson just re-gripping there. Needs to get out of that one, and he hasn't. Twenty-one. Trying to avoid the dubious distinction of hitting free, because no one likes it in that. One hundred and thirty-four. Not. Kerwin. Forty-one. To Max. He's went downstairs. Fair play because it tries to leave double 16. He didn't do it, and Josh is having an absolute nightmare of a leg. 77. Scholar requires 70. This is a better leg from Kerwin. Now he's going to go 20 for double 16 for 2 1. Oh, he gets it as well. Gets his first leg on the board. And now. Just confidence, may take a knock after an absolutely woeful leg, I'm not going to lie. 60. Only 60. Excellent cover shot there from Kerwin. Need to get out of Australian. He keeps getting close to the treble. But he is slightly going astray on occasion, which means he's hitting a five or a one or something like that. And David Kerwin nearly puts in the first one in the match. Well, Josh Richardson puts in the first one in the match himself. And it gets him back in front in this leg. But Kerwin, a straight ton or ton 40. A ton 40 will be even better. Gets him down onto 130. Could we be starting to see this turn around? That was the 20th 180 of this afternoon's men's match. A quarter of them came in the previous match between Gary Stone and Jamie Atkins. 
the pair hitting five between them in just five legs. 57, Scotland require 86. 86 now. This is for a break and to make it two all in this last match of the day. He's w he went for the double to try and be safe and he hit it. 70. Oh, he thought it was in. He thought it was in. He thought he thought the double was in and it wasn't. Yeah, because we have the better angle. Oh. Double eight for Davy Kerwin. Oh, he gets it. It's there, and that was a break of throw. And David Kerwin, the exact same way he started off the last leg with Trevor Centine there, 91. 60. And only 60 in reply from Richardson. That's a good start to this further. Not quite the best follow up. But then he recovers with a 140 overall. And it puts Josh under enormous pressure. really could have been over at this point Josh was 2 nil up and it is now 2 all a, a real shocker of a leg the advantage leg is, three. the advantage has now gone the way of the Scotsman hasn't it yes it has uh, it was like that at the start 93. because he had the dart and then he got immediately broke but he's broke right back and it is 2 all Great visit as well to leave double 18. Josh will put himself on. He's He'll left us up the champagne shot, 132. If Davy Kerwin doesn't take the, one f take the double 18, that's off the screen. That's closer. And that's it. It's one away from making it 8-4 overall. For Josh Richardson, this is a must-get leg. And then he has to break in the last leg. Yeah, if he wants to win it and make it 9-3. But, but the at thing the moment, is, it's looking like 8-4. But the thing is, he needs to win this leg as well, as well as break. He needs to win this one as well, and holding for is not being a guarantee. It may be now. 104. Almost the 21st 180 of this match, this overall match. This won't be either. 140. This is a closer leg here. But once again into the one with Josh Richards. Somebody redeems it with a treble 20. Oh, and it's deflected to the side. Not what he wanted. That's a good dart. He's left himself what he just scored. Except he needs to hit a double at the end of it to take this match. It's going to be made a hell of a lot harder now. 140 may have to go for the match. It's on, another one of them. Double 10 for the match. He gets it! He gets it! Of 140 to win it!
absolutely insane!